girl. <sighs> How are you? Too excited to get dressed. Yes. Daddy put candles on my pancakes. Yes, and you blew them out in one breath, didn't you? <laughs> Do you want to know what I wish for? How long does a person have to keep a birthday wish a secret? Well, there are two schools of thought about that. Some people say you can tell, and, and some people say you can't. What do you say? Well, I say if you blew out all the candles on your cake, then you can tell. Well, I did that all right. So, I'm going to tell you what I wished. I wish that you and Mommy would get back together. Emma. You can't tell people what you wish for because then it doesn't come true. <laughs> you want them to come true, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Love to have seen Duke again, you know? He was a great dad to her. She adored him. And what about you? hard to process you know this is the husband that i thought was dead i mean, not the fact, i think of him as my husband obviously because i moved on from them years ago but speaking of which how was your date it was fun yeah yeah we had a good time i meant what i said robin would want you to be happy i don't even know I don't really know what happy is. I don't even know, like, if it's... I don't even know how can I be happy if I haven't moved on for her. Or I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm still wearing my wedding ring. I don't know what's next. I, I didn't think that it was possible to even get married again no, after I, Duke. I do not even want to talk about getting remarried. No, 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 I know, I know. But I'm just saying that... It has to start somewhere. She asked me to come home with her last night. <laughs> and I just, I couldn't do it. I... And I realize that's a lot of information for you. Sorry about that. I want you to know, I support you. If you want to have a relationship or, you know. It's hard to even consider myself single right now, let alone anything else. I know. Oh, little ears. Hello. Hey. You want to open up another present? I want to see Mommy first. I want to see Mommy, baby, but we can't. Mommy's here. Oh, your birthday. Your birthday DVD, huh? Last year, uh, Emma fell asleep, so Rob and I recorded ourselves and made a little birthday video for her. Can we watch it? Yeah, you want to watch it? I don't know. We should probably ask Grandma. What do you say? Are you up for it? Yeah. Should we watch it? Yeah. Can we write that up? This better be an emergency. I told you never to call me here. There's a problem with Robin Scorpio Drake. What seems to be the difficulty? Robin is getting stronger. It's becoming increasingly difficult to control her. Well, that's your job, isn't it? Damn it. Your dad has something very right. You will shine. I mean, you've had that down pat since the day you were born. It seems like yesterday. I mean, you were saying your first word. Last car. <laughs> Daddy's girl. You're so beautiful. You are, and people will always tell you that, and this is true. But I want you to remember something else. You are much more than that. You are compassionate, you're a kind person, and you are funny. Well, we know where that comes from. There's nothing you can't do, Emma. Hey, Mom is right about that. There's nothing you can't do. You have to get the situation under control. She has proved to be extremely resourceful. You may need to take care of that personally. Well, you're probably right. Okay. I'll make arrangements.
Where do you think you are going? Home. You need to get back to bed. Uh, no, I'm strong now. And it's time for me to go see my husband and... my little girl. Emma, it's... Uh, I'm afraid you're mistaken. It's you can't birthday. risk a sip. I mean, it's been so long. Emma may have forgotten me. I love you, Mommy. Hello? <laughs> No, I think it's phone? me. It's a real... Oh, hello. Good morning, Anna. Thank you very much uh, for last night. I, I love dancing with you. Oh, you're welcome. Sure. Yes. Uh, Who's on your phone? I'm at the Haunted Star. Can you come here? I'd like to see you. What, now? If it's possible. Yeah, okay. I can stop by on the way to the station. Thank you. Morning. Thank you for coming over. Yeah. Um, you were right, you know what you said. About as soon as I started dancing, it would all come back to me. Last night was very special. Mm. That's what makes it so difficult for me to say goodbye. Morning. Washington. They want to debrief me further about the period when I was in captivity. They want to debrief you on election day? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, maybe somebody got nervous about the amount of money that it cost to rescue me. So how long are you going for? Oh, I won't be long. I think just a couple of days. Although I don't know how my new employers at the Haunted Star will take me asking for a leave of absence after only one day of employment. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. I'll only be gone a few days. I... But you... You were upset on the phone. What's wrong? Nothing. It's Emma's birthday. And uh, she wanted me to watch this video of her mother. It was beautiful. It's pretty sad, actually. Seeing Robin. Young. Happy. Alive. Is everything all right? Well, yeah, I just uh, brought over a birthday gift for Emma, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. That's that's great of you. You're you're quickly rising on her favorite people list. <laughs> her her grandmother just bought her a, a toy phone. Mm. Hopefully, it'll be a couple years before she gets her own. But <laughs> yeah. you never know. She's growing up so quickly. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, that's a lie. Today's been a tough one. Emma's first birthday without Robin, and I just uh, wish she was here. Hello? Emma? Hi, Mommy. Baby. It's me. It's Mommy. I miss you so much. I miss you too. When are you coming home? Robin and I made this little video, this birthday video for Emma last year, and we just we just watched it. Oh God. You okay? Is, um, is Emma okay? Emma, she's she's great. Mm -hmm. you no, know, she doesn't get upset when she sees Robin or her, you know talks about her. It's like she kind of knows that she's still with us. That's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it's better than the alternative. You know. Yeah. Like her grandmother just got her that toy phone, and of course, who's her first phone call? Robin. Yeah, she comes in with this big smile on her face. <laughs> and I want her to think that way. You know, I want her to be like that when she thinks about Robin. Yeah, but you don't want her to be in denial. Yeah. But we talk about it. We talk about it a lot, and, you know, I tell her that she's in heaven, and I try and explain what that is, and, and that she might... 
she's never going to see her again, and I just don't know if she believes it or not. Are you having fun in heaven, Mommy? Oh, baby. Baby, I'm not in heaven. Mom's the phone! Get up! Get me up! Get up! Get up. Mommy, what's wrong? Nothing, baby. Listen, I need you to listen and do exactly as I say. It's very, very important. Okay, baby? Emma, Emma, are you there? Yes. Open this door! Okay. Order this! Listen very carefully. Go get Daddy. Put him on the phone. Okay? Very fast, like a race. Okay, baby? Okay. Hey! There's the birthday girl. Sabrina was nice enough to bring you a birthday present. You want to open it? Yeah, rip into it. After. Mommy's on the phone and she needs you. Mommy wants to talk to you. Oh, baby, I would love to talk to her, but I think first you should open up your gifts. Sabrina got you. Well, Mommy said to get you right now. Well, 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 this is a first, huh? Little gift fanatic Emma doesn't want to open it? Come on, let's rip into that thing. Mommy says so important, please. <laughs> Have you ever been able to say no to that face? No. Hurry, okay. Daddy, it's a race. Okay, we're hurting, we're hurting. Here we go. Come here. Hello, Robin. Not that phone. Mommy's on that one. Oh, hurry, please. Come on, baby. Open this door! You know what? Go to hell! I'm on the phone with my husband right now, and before you can figure out how to bust in here, he'll have talked to my mother and my father, and they will descend on this place with an army. So I suggest you dig a hole and you bury yourself because nobody can save you. Nothing can save you. What did you say about that? Oh, oh. I thought you only talked to mommy on this phone. She talks to me on that one, too. Come on, Patrick. Listen to Emma. Okay. Baby, Grandma got you this toy phone because this is a toy phone. That is a real phone. That is only for emergencies, remember? I didn't use it. Mommy called me. <laughs> Pick up the phone. Mommy really wants to talk to you. Please. Okay. All right. Robin, you there? It's me. Hi. Hi, yes. So good to hear your voice. Yes, I know. We're having a wonderful day. Can you believe she's another year older? She's getting so big. Actually, yeah, we were just about to open up another present, so I'm going to have to run, but thank you so much for calling. And thank you for keeping an eye on us. We love you. That was ill-conceived. <sighs> you are quickly becoming more trouble than you are worth. Then let me go. Not my decision to make. You don't know what just happened. I just talked to my daughter. She heard my voice. Emma knows I'm alive. Emma is a child. You've never met my child. She'll get through to my husband, and then he'll come for me. What is it? Wow, cool. A stethoscope and a meter and a needle. Yeah, I thought she might like them. Wow. Since you have them, and since Robin Look did. Look at that. You're going to be a little doctor, a little nurse? What do you say? Thank you. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> can I go play? Yes, of course. It's your birthday. You can do whatever you want. You want to take that to your room? Yeah. Don't get crazy on me, though, all right? I'm just so glad that she likes it. I'm seriously the worst gift picker out. Or I agonize over it every single time. You know, whether I'm going to get something that I want or something that they want. And then they open up the gift and then they smile and I feel like they're just being nice. And, and this is the most boring conversation ever. I 
isn't it? I'm sorry, what? No, just me droning. Next up is my love for gift receipts. I'm sorry, it's just, it's... When Emma said that Robin was on the phone... Oh, from what I understand, uh, pretend play is a completely normal and healthy way... There was way nobody on the... Huh? There was no, there was no dial tone. Someone was on the other end of the line. You didn't say anything? No. That's disturbing. Who would call here, ask for Emma, and then pretend to be Robin? Well, there's one way to find out. Star 69. Good call. You're the one lacking information at the moment. I heard Patrick on the phone. He picked up? And didn't believe for one second you were there. Thought Emma was just pretending. So you see, Robin, your husband has no idea that you're alive, let alone that you're here. He won't be coming for you. No one will. Well? It didn't work. Block number. Well, maybe they didn't say they were Robin. You know, maybe it was just one of those robocalls and Emma ran with it. You busy? I don't want to interrupt any important police uh, work. No, any and all distractions welcome. You sure? Yes. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Staring at files, looking for answers. I remember the feeling. You want your old job back? No thanks. I'm perfectly happy with the floating rig. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What is that? I'm serious. It's like some kind of trend or something. All these men with mad skills and colorful backgrounds. They want to just sling drinks for a living. So all these men? Is that a reference to Lavery? You two seem to be... Having a pretty good time on Halloween. Well, if he still has his job when he gets back. Back from where? Washington. Yeah, the authorities, they wanted to talk to him about his captivity. Please. It's time to let me go. I'm sorry, it's not time yet. Yet? What does that mean? Rest. You're back. Because of your incompetence. Robin was able to reach a phone. It made no difference. We were able to take the phone away before she spoke to anyone. She spoke to her daughter. A child. The little girl's father thought she was playing pretend. He had no idea it was really Robin on the line. A few moments more, she would have spoken to her husband. Now, thanks to you, I have to change my plans for Robin. <sighs> Patrick, please, just listen to Emma. Please. I'll always be a cop, mm -hmm. you know, never taking anything at face value, always asking questions, wanting facts. You ever get that feeling, you know, like something's staring you right in the face and you just, just can't put your finger on it? Are you referring to a case, Anna, or is that feeling refer to Duke Lavery? The responses to treatment have been erratic. Sometimes Robin is near catatonic, other times almost uncontrollable. I stop making excuses. My schedule in Port Charles was going perfectly well. Now my timetable has been thrown out all because you cannot do the one thing I asked you to do. Control her. Uh, I have to get out of here. I will. You're right, of course. She should have been supervised more carefully. Please, if there's anything I stop can do... Stop bothering. I Shut up for once and listen to me. Look, skeptical about Duke as well? Well, I'm just curious. You know, yeah, oh. The government is wondering about him if you have questions too. Yeah, well, then I think he's going to tell me in his own time. Why? I don't know. I don't know the guy. By the time I got to Port Charles, he was gone. Anna, who else is skeptical? What? You said as well, meaning someone else oh, doesn't buy yeah. his explanation. Luke. It's Luke, isn't it? Of course, he's convinced that Duke has some hidden agenda. He thought he was an imposter. And then I, I ran Duke's fingerprints through the system, and of course they matched what we have on file. Was that enough to satisfy Luke? No, he's never going to let go of this idea that Duke's hiding something. Anna, what's your take on Duke now? Nothing's changed between us. We 
share the same memories. And we danced, you know, the other night at the, at the, the thing, the Haunted Star, the tango, which is what we danced the first night we met. Anna, come on, it's hard to be objective about someone when he's tangoing you around the he's dance floor. It's not someone. It's Duke. Okay. It feels like time stood still for us. Even though everything else in my life has changed. When you say everything else, does that um, include your feelings for Luke? Where does he fit in? I'm hallucinating. It, it must have been what they gave me. Melvin? <laughs> Look at you. You're all grown up. What have they done to you? You're not really here. You've been dead since I was a little girl. No. No. I'm here. I'm real. Look. Where this can be. <laughs> but how? I mean, where have you been all these years? I've been in prison. They kept me away from my family and my friends and the two people that mean most to me in the entire world, you and your mother. Oh, my God. Last time I saw you, you were a little girl. Now you're a woman. What are you doing here? I don't know. I'm a prisoner and I don't know why. <sighs> Thank God you're here. If anyone can get me out of here, it's you. Even if Duke hadn't returned, Luke and I, the... I'm not saying that I'm about to jump into some serious relationship with Duke, because things with Luke have hit a snag, you know? And... I've never heard you like this. Like what? Talking in circles. Yes, that's what it's like in my mind. Because I think it through one way, and then I think it through another, and then I come right back to where I started. Which is? Well, I'm confused. I am hopelessly confused. Because Luke is unpredictable. <laughs> that's at best. And unreliable. Which keeps a girl on her toes. And Duke? I have a history with Duke. I, I, he was a huge part of my life. And Robbins, you know? Yeah, well, she used to talk about him sometimes. Yes, she adored him. There was this birthday. I, I don't know, she was... She couldn't have been more than seven or eight. And she blew out her candles. And she wished for us to be back together again. Yeah, that sounds like Robin. Yeah. And now here he is, he's back in my life. And part of me feels like I should be with him, you know, to honor her wish. Almost like he could somehow help Robin rest in peace. I don't remember much after the lab exploded. All I know is I, I woke up in some strange hospital. Do you have any idea where that was? No. No, they, they drugged me up, and, and then when I wouldn't comply, they gave me electroshock. Oh, good God. And then they move me here. I have to get home to my family. My God, I, I wonder how my mom is going to feel when she finds out you're alive. She was shocked. After I got out of prison, I insisted that I get to go home to poor Charles. Did you see my little girl? I did. Yeah. She's beautiful. She's just like you when you were a little girl. And Patrick... How's my husband? Everybody at home thinks that you're dead. But... But if you were at home, then... How did I get to be here? I came looking for you. But you just said everybody thinks I'm dead. <sighs> when I was in Washington, I had to go there to be debriefed. I heard a rumor that you were alive, so I... I came here to, to, to find you. You told my mother, right? Please tell me that you told her. No, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't. I didn't want to get her hopes up. I didn't want to come here and then not find you. But I have found you. Unfortunately, they found me first. But I'm going to find a way to get us both out of here. And I'm going to take you home to your mother. So what's the plan to get us out of here? When somebody comes in here, I'll subdue them. I'll get a key card, get an ID, and hopefully car keys, and then, then we can get out of here. 
Duke. You haven't changed at all, Duke. You're still my hero, just... Like in my favorite book when I was a little girl. Remember that? How could I forget? <laughs> that morning I was reading the book. My mom kept nagging me to finish my breakfast, but I couldn't stop reading it because I was so into it. And then I told her that the prince was just like you. You're tall, dark, handsome swain. I know you didn't come all this way just to talk about my complicated life. Hey, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. But I am do with the rib. I gotta go. I, uh, brought a birthday present for Emma. Oh, you did? Very thoughtful of you, great uncle. S since I knew you'd be seeing her before I did. Yeah. I'll deliver it to her. Thank you. From you. And Felicia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. She loves to read. The prince arrived, and the dragon ran off to wherever green polka-dotted, yellow-eyed, free fire-breathing dragons go. The prince lifted Alina onto his horse, and they happily rode off into the sunset. Da-da-da-da! The end. Very nice. Very long, but very nice. Now, no more reading at breakfast each other. The prince in my fairy tale looks just like Uncle Duke. Everything okay? Yeah. This is Robin's favorite. No, the... <laughs> the prince didn't look like you at all. He was a little boy with blonde hair and blue eyes. That's why it was so funny, don't you remember? Yes. Of course, I, I, it, I, I'd forgotten. Really? Swede made such a big deal out of it. I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I, I didn't remember it correctly. I just, I didn't want to disappoint you. It's okay. I understand. And am I? Memory's not as good as it once was, but that's all right. We're going to have lots of great memories of us, but I, I might need a, a refresher, of course. Is that all right? Sure. Okay. I'm going to get us out of here. The sooner the better. You know, this must be fate, because I was, I was just thinking about you the other day. You were? About the first meal that we made together. Spaghetti and meatballs. Of course. I remember that. They were delicious. No, ma'am, Duke Leverley doesn't take a, a pizza out of the freezer and toss it in the oven. He makes it from scratch. It was, except it wasn't spaghetti. It was, it was pizza. What's going on here? I'm sorry, Robin. I've been locked up for so long. They tortured me and they, they starved me. My memory's not what it once was. It's just that these are important things, you know, memories that someone would cling to to keep them sane and alive. I mean, I should know. My memories are the only thing keeping me sane and alive right now. It's not as simple as that. These are things that a person doesn't forget. Like... <laughs> Like the time that I told you about my birthday wish. I mean, you remember that, right? Don't you? You you expect me to remember a, a birthday wish from your childhood? Yes, I do. Because that is something that Duke would remember, which means... Which means you're not him. Child, you're always too smart for your own good. Tell them a happy birthday from us. I will. She's having a really good birthday. So nice to see her happy. Hey, I want the same for you, you know. Oh, and if Duke is the man for the job, I'm all for it. Really? Yeah. See ya. See ya. Then who are you? Oh, my God. Face on. You remember me? I'm flattered. But you're... I don't understand. 
was pretty easy to grasp. Especially for a young, bright woman as yourself. You know what wasn't too smart, though? Escaping. Calling your husband. Thankfully, your sweet little daughter answered that call. So you're the one that's been keeping me all this time. What the hell is going on? Isn't it obvious? Duke Lavery hasn't returned from the dead. I have. So why make yourself look like Duke? Where does that get you? Your mother. It's no secret that I've been in love with her ever since I laid eyes on her. But no matter how hard I try to prove myself, she's insisting on breaking my heart. So you're impersonating someone that she did love. Inspired, isn't it? It's psychotic. I mean, you actually think that my mother is going to fall for that? Yeah, she's already fallen. You may think that my mother is buying your act, but she will see right through you. I don't think, Robin. I know. That's just impossible. Nothing gets past Anna Devane. Ever. Well, perhaps, before you died. Losing you left her vulnerable. Much softer than I ever seen her. And my little impersonation was nothing short of brilliant. Well, it is only a matter of time before she realizes that you're not Duke. Well, I admit she was a little resistant at the start, but no. I began to win her over. We even tangoed. And true enough, she thought she was dancing with you, but I don't give a damn because it was my body she held next to hers, my sweet breath. It on was her not neck. your my eyes anything. My mother is not in love with you. She's in love with Duke. I don't care. As long as I get Anna. He's been dead for over two decades. Thanks, God. So he couldn't have told you about his time with my mother so you could fake those memories so how the hell did you find out i have my methods and they seem to pan down and of course a little money doesn't hurt either do you have any idea what it costs to become another person no mask actually prosthetics add to that a voice and a movement coach let's just say it was quite a challenge turning myself into whatever his name is what was what, this duke duke but it's worth it. My little plan is coming to fruition. Except for one little thing, Robin. You. Well, how do I fit into your master plan? I'm fitting. You're the most important element. I took you away from Anna, kept you hidden, and with the only goal of bringing you back to her. So you could be the hero? Absolutely. Could you think of anything that would have her bigger impact than me bringing you back to Anna? That will make her love me forever. Well, I certainly hope you have a plan B because whoever walked you through Duke's memories lied and fed you bogus information about me. Well, if she realizes I'm not Duke, then, then you're in trouble. You're threatening me? No, I would never threaten you. But you could have played along, and had you done so, you would have been on your way back to your family by now. That ain't gonna happen, is it? Yes, it will. You're back to poor Charles. You know who I am. So what? And so what? I'll lose your mother, no, that's you so what? No, you won't. I won't tell my mother that you're not Duke. <sighs> tell anyone. You don't expect me to fall for this, do you? <sighs> well, come on, Robin. Okay, fine. I expected a little fine. bit more. Just Who do you think fine, I am? Fine. Then Some high-flying idiot then coming listen in from to me. the moon. There's another way to get my mother to love you. That's ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? If you bring me back to my mother, 
She will be so happy that I'm alive. She won't care that it's not Duke or you or anyone. After what I did to you, put your mother through? You don't know your mother. I know my mother. You don't know your mother. I do. She is forgiving. And once she understands what your intentions are, once I make her understand... You don't believe this, do you? You've always loved my mother. And she knows that. And all you want is her love in return. And I understand that. That is the reason why I'm fighting so hard to get home to my family. Once I make my mother understand, and I will, you'll be her hero. And you'll be mine, too. A guarantee to a head. You have my word. My word. As Anna Devane's daughter, you have my word. I promise you. My mother will love you. We'll all love you. My little girl will love you. All you have to do is take me home. Please, Basil, I just... Just take me home. Such a pretty picture, Robin. But that's the thing. It, it, it can be more than a picture. It can be real. Look, all you have to do is give me time with my mother. Just time to explain everything to her. Time to make things right. Try not to love me as I am. Yes. The man that went to such extremes, I mean, just to be near her again. There's nothing I would want more. I can give that to you. Because once my mother understands your intentions, she'll have no choice but to love you back. I wish I could, but I can't believe that. It's all the progress with Anna as is. It would be stupid of me to mess that up. No, no, Faison. You can do this. We can, we can do this. I'm sorry, Robin. But we can't. So that's it then? I'm afraid I got to return to plane A, so to speak. Do you know what, Robin? You made a marvelous fight. It's beautiful. Your mother would be proud of you. Don't worry. So now what? You'll have to be more specific. Now, what happens to me? Are you going to kill me? Why do you think that? I'm not that monster everybody thinks I am. So then you'll let me go? Please, no, you can't just keep me here. That's the beauty of it. I can do exactly that. So please try and behave. You may look like Duke and talk like Duke, but she will never, ever love you the way that she loved him. Well, she won't know the difference. Oh, yes, she will. Because sooner or later, you won't be able to hide the ugly, sick person that you really are. And when that happens, you'll wish that you had listened to me. I'll have Anna's heart. It's just one loose end I need to tie up. You thought you were clever, feeding me lies that could be my undoing. Do you know what, Bear? 
they gonna undo you. You thought you were clever lying to me? Feeding me with lies that could have been my undoing? But do you know what, pal? They gonna undo you. Lying to me was a mistake. You got exactly what you deserved. And you will get it too. Yes, Philippe, we're gonna have a little talk here. Go to hell. Okay. That's the way you want to play. Remember Ankara? Where I found you rotting in a prison? Do you? Do you remember the smell? The filth? The beating? Do you remember that? I liberated you. I brought you here. I helped you out. Brought you here to live out your life, to heal. In the Alps, Alpine lakes, meadows, and what the hell have you? With the electric fences and guards, I came from one prison to another. Okay, you want to go back? That's fine with me. It's just a word. You want to go back? I'll be happy to return you to your mind, minders in, in Turkey. No? Well, I thought so. Remember, you came here by choice, Duke. Angra. Are you? <laughs> this is some choice. You opted to remain here in my care, and all I ever asked for was a little conversation. I told you the story of my life. I told you everything. I told you my life before Anna. I told you my life with Anna. I've given you everything that you asked for. Yeah, and then some us disgusted to realize that one of the memories you told me was a lie. A very important one, too. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, you lied! That's what I mean! All the trust there ever were between you and I are gone, and you caused me a major setback, and for that, you are gone to suffer so bad. Smoke? Before you meet your maker? Not about to start now. So, things are going according to plan in Port Charles. My friends haven't accepted the circumstances surrounding my return. Oh, on the contrary. They've been very receptive in Port Charles. And especially. You see, like most people, Anna would rather live with a little inconsistency than end up disillusioned. I've been quite convincing. Well, what are you doing here? You've been caught, haven't you? I knew it. With the right well-placed lie, I knew Anna would figure you out. Yeah, but she hasn't. See, all Anna sees when she looks at me is a man that loves her. A man she loves in return. If your masquerade is successful, what are you doing here? Well, someone did see through the mask, but that's only a minor problem. She's in no position to tell Anna, and neither are you. Farewell, Fizzle. I wish you all the luck in the world, although I know you're doomed to failure. I'll tell Anna that when I'm lying in her bed. Oh, you must know how futile this whole thing is. What else can I expect from some clown who runs around in a duplery mask? If you think I'm such a clown, how come my plan is working? Do you forget? Anna's a detective at heart. <laughs> Pretty soon she'll see through that rubbery mask, and she'll see very clearly the Euro trash that's squirming underneath. Especially if you continue to get the details wrong. Do you think I've supplied you with just one false memory? false memories would be very dangerous for you. I've always lived on the edge of a knife. Now it's your turn. When Anna finds out you've been manipulating her so you can crawl your way into her bed and into her heart, I don't even want to think what she's going to do to you. So you go ahead. You go ahead. You kill me. I'll die satisfied knowing you will follow me shortly. Cut as if the woman.
we both love. You gotta kill me, you better aim higher. I think I will give you the gift of life for now. I need to send you a thank you note. I have not invested significant time and energy perfecting your face, your voice, your fingerprints just to see it all go to waste. Now at the verge of reaching my gold. Anna is never going to fall for you. Is that so? Look at this. Listen. Oh, hey, Jim. It's Anna. Um, just, uh, I, I know you're busy being debriefed in Washington. I just wanted to talk. I miss talking. You know, we went years without speaking. Thought you were gone, so um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm really glad you're back from the dead. I think she's already fallen. Not falling in love with you, she's rediscovering her love for me. Yes, but now I'm you. <laughs> That's what you wish. You go ahead with your silly little plan. I shall stay here to save him sound. Knowing that very soon Anna will discover your true nature. Yeah, but why would she? When she's having such a beautiful time. I mean, whenever we eat together, we can't help reminisce. Yes, with my memories. Yeah. Not to mention your face and your voice. We remembered her, our first meeting at the policeman's ball. What a magnificent. Magnificent sight we were gliding across the dance floor, locked in each other's eyes. That was the first dance of many. Tango's always been my favorite. And that goes for Anna too. I mean, she moved with such grace and precision as if she was a tigress. And she still does. Just last night we dusted off some old moves. She didn't miss a beat. Oh, she even kissed me. So help me out, Duke. Does that sound like a woman who doesn't believe? This is goodbye for now. So, this is goodbye for now. You have to leave so soon. You don't want to continue our conversation. No, but fair out more untruths and lies. Well, you heard Anna's message. I want it back in Port Charles. After that tango. Oh, hi. It's nice to hear your voice. Are you home? Yes. I have to say, it's good to be back. I got your message. Oh, yeah, I know. We weren't gone that long this time, but, uh, I missed you. Hello, love. Can I call you back later? Someone's here. Spencer? No, someone else. Well, I just wanted you to know that I missed you, too. Can I talk you into having dinner with me this evening? Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Well, it doesn't have to be anything extravagant. I mean, you could eat at my place. Please. I have so much I have to tell you. Okay, I'll try. All right? <sighs> Is that library? How do you know? What am I saying? What are you doing here, Robert? Favor for a friend. For Luke? Yeah, well, it seems like my old buddy's got himself into a jam, tracking down some information on Duke Lavery. I've already taken your face, Duke. Soon I'll take your place by Anna's side. Yep. Anna. 
Diana, my love. I took Duke's story and made it my own. I claimed his life. Soon I will claim you as my wife. <laughs> you know, whatever Luke has told you about this, I am sure he is way off base. Spencer called me collect from a Turkish prison. What? You're not serious. Yeah. Well, it seems he went in there looking for some information on Lavery, and they like him so much, they decided to let him stay. Well, why aren't you there trying to help him? Because I'm here helping him. The deal was that he would get himself out of stir if I came here and told you what he discovered about Lavery. Which is what, exactly? He asked a lot of questions to a lot of people, and it seems to corroborate the story, so... Well, I guess it checks out. Oh, good. Right, well... There you have it, then. <laughs> hey, just because a story lines up doesn't mean to say that the guy might not be hiding something. Luke is stuck in a Turkish prison because he's trying to expose Duke as a fraud, and the story checks out. And now he brings you in, and you're suspicious because the story is constructed so well. Oh, kill me now. Oh, come on. Come on. You're a pro. If something seems too good to be true, then it probably is. God, we've just reached the point of diminishing returns. Duke is damned if he does and is damned if he doesn't. Are you not listening to no, me? No, I'm not listening to you or any of this. I'm done. What are you saying? What I'm saying, Robert, is it's great to see you. And you look well. And, and I'm so happy that you're moving on with your life. But you've got to stay the hell out of mine. Okay, just calm down and tell me what happened. Okay. We're going to talk about this later. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. And? Nice to see you again, Miss Falconetti. Who the hell are you? We met before. Surely you remember? I'm sorry, I, I don't... Olivia, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. It's, it's a stuke. Man, it's... I had the pleasure of meeting you, Miss Falconeri, just the other day. In the lobby of the Metro Court Hotel, I was bringing flowers for Anna Devane. Yeah, right, I, right, I, I, I apologize. I, I just thought that uh, you looked like uh, someone else. Oh, you don't have to apologize? It's understandable. I'm sure you meet a lot of people in your line of work. Anyway, I, I came to see my boss to apologize for leaving so unexpectedly. You know, when the government calls, you have to answer. Of course. Don't even worry about it. So I assume I'm welcome behind the bar of, uh, tomorrow night? Not tonight? Well, the risk of pushing my luck tomorrow night, if you don't mind, I've actually made special plans for this evening. You're grieving over Robin. You're still upset about that. This guy has seen that. This guy he is wants Duke. To... Duke of the dead. No, Robert, don't you remember? People thought that we were dead, too, and we came back, so why can't Duke? I know one person who didn't come back from death. Don't say and it. And that was Robin. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to fall out of the sky and police how I live my life. If I want to believe that Duke has come back to me, then that's what I'm damn well going to believe. Gotcha. You want to believe that Duke's going to come back to you. Can we, uh, can we finish the talk now? There is nothing to talk about. I really appreciate the offer, but we both know you can't afford that kind of money. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If I win the lottery... The money's all yours. <laughs> Thank you, but it's okay. Please don't worry about this. It's all gonna work out. And that's not some crazy vision talking. That is coming from me. Believe me, you can bank on it. Speaking of visions, what was that? With Duke. Duke Lavery. Yeah, you have that look that you get when you have... When I see something that's not actually there. Um, I looked at him, and I saw someone else. Who? Oh. I don't know. It was nobody, nobody that I recognized, but it definitely didn't look like Duke, and, and the guy was really creepy. You better rest for now, Duke, because you have a long night ahead of you. Yeah. Let's try to maintain some objectivity here. Look, even if he's telling the truth, it's just too convenient. Oh, why is it too convenient? This guy suddenly turns up from oblivion. You're at your most vulnerable. It's spy 101. Always attack your opponent at their most Robert, weak. who is my opponent? Who? What have they got to gain? Unless you're suggesting that some sinister cabal has staged Duke's return to 
compromise my position as, what, police commissioner? I don't have the objective uh, of Pete, this... you don't, because there is none. Luke is jealous. That's it. Well, he did tell me that you were an item, apparently. Um, How gentlemanly. Great. So now do you understand? Duke returns. Luke doesn't like it. He does everything he can to turn me against him. And when that doesn't work, he pulls you into the mix. And a good thing, too. You know what, Robert? Please. Just stay out of this. From where I'm standing, you're in quicksand, waist high, and you're sinking quick. I'm going to pull you out, whether you like it or not, Anna. I don't want it. Robert, I don't. Oh, God, this is pointless. All right. You know what? If you speak to Luke, tell him I hope he's safe. I'm going to drop the soap. If you speak to him, tell him that I'm moving out of here. All right? I'm done with him. That's... I'm not sure whether you remember me. Uh, of course I do. Robert Scorpio. I, if you're looking for my dad, I uh, don't... Actually, he sent me. Sent me by to tell you he's okay and not to worry. Great. Now I'm worried. Where is he? So what do we got? Champagne's ordered. Candles, flowers. Caviar. Still a couple of hours before Anna comes. Plenty of time to make it perfect. Plenty of time. Dad's in Turkey, investigating a man who claims to be Duke Lavery. You mean looking for dirt? I ran into that guy, Duke Lavery. Well, Lavery's story seems to check out. I don't think there's any... Yeah, I'll tell the fact that he's who he says he is. Look, I'm right at Duke Lavery, and, like, I saw a completely different person. You mean, like, one of your hallucinations? It must have been. I'll tell you what, this, this, this Duke guy who's got a thought I've lost my marbles. Oh, I didn't know him that well. It can't be that surprising you didn't recognize him. But it wasn't like I saw Duke, but with red hair and a mustache. I looked at him, and I saw someone with a completely different face. Who's? You know, I think Luke's right. There's something off about this guy. Life is hiding something. Like his real face? You want to explain that? <laughs> um, my mother-in-law... It's complicated, but she has these... psychic flashes, like... Premonitions. A little clarification is needed here. Uh, when she saw Duke today, she had a strange reaction. And she covered it, but when he left, she told me that she saw Duke with a completely different face. See my face. Duke, it's Anna. You there? How accurate are, are these visions of hers? Because if she's telling you that she saw Lavery, but he didn't look like Lavery, then I can actually go along with that. <laughs> Anna, I wasn't expecting you so soon. Yeah, I know. Um... Shall I come back later? Olivia uh, was injected with a massive overdose of LSD. So she's not exactly reliable. Actually, she is. Whose face did Duke Lavery have? Was it someone you recognized? I, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, if I ever see this guy in a dark alley, I'm going to run in the opposite direction. He was threatening. That would be an understatement. This guy, whoever he was, who isn't Duke Lavery, he scared the daylights out of me. I'll be ready in a minute. My apologies. I'm not quite decent. No, you, you I'll wait. You don't have to be so formal. It's not like we haven't... I like to answer the door as a gentleman. Just give me a few more minutes to put on my game face, so to speak.
Sorry, I'm early. I should have called, really. Oh. Sorry. Don't apologize. I was yeah. very excited about you seeing my place. Yeah, it's really nice. It suits you. Is something wrong? Yeah, well. Well, we were talking on the phone, you know, and I had to hang up because someone came in. Bad news? Ex husband. I'm not following. Sorry, I, I don't mean to be cryptic. Even when he has the best intentions, you know, he just puts me on edge. Who? Robert. Scorpio? One and only. If she saw Lavery and he had another man's face... Duke Lavery could be someone else. Did she know who that face was? No, she didn't recognize him. She just said he looked different than Duke. But she must be able to describe him. How do I contact her? Uh, you want to question her? I've got to know whose face she saw instead of Lavery's. Olivia, I am yeah. so glad that we bumped into you. We? Oui. Um, this is Robert Scorpio, Mac's brother, Emma's grandfather. I'm honored to meet the legend. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, I'm not sure if you know Dr. Steve Weber. Your reputation precedes you. Well, now that I'm suitably embarrassed. Uh, Olivia, I need your help. Um, I hope you don't mind. I told him what happened with Duke this way. You mean I need... I, that I looked at him and I saw a completely different person standing there? I need you to tell me about that person you saw. Honestly, it was so random. I, I can't imagine it's going to be any help. Anything that you can remember, any slight detail, might help me uncover what Lavery's hiding. I had no idea you were still in contact with Robert. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen him since before Robin died. So, why did he choose now to come into your life? It's Luke, isn't it? He's um, informed him that I'm in danger. From me? Apparently. God, I don't know who I'm more angry at, really. Luke, I think, probably. Because he's been suspicious ever since you returned. Mm. I wish I can understand, but this constant badgering, it just... It, it's wearing thin. And now Robert's told me that Luke has gone to Turkey. Oh, Luke has gone to Turkey to see whether my story of incarceration is fact or fiction. Okay. So what did he discover? That it checks out. <laughs> Not one single discrepancy. Which, for a normal person, would be a signal to just move on. But no, Luke has now managed to convince Robert that this is a carefully constructed lie. That's a bit extreme, isn't it? It's played right into Robert's paranoia. You know, he's been a spy his whole life. He looks for conspiracies around every corner. So now he's here in Port Charles to save me from you or myself. I'm not really sure which. Lulu tells me you didn't recognize this guy who turned up in Lavery's place. I've never seen this man before in my life. Can you describe him? Tell me maybe about scars, tattoos, anything about his face at all. Um, aside from the fact that he totally creeped me out, uh, he was smoking. You know, I really like to think of myself as a, as a patient person, but Robert just... God, he works my last nerve. Especially when he does this whole macho protector thing. Oh, perhaps Robert's just jealous. I don't think he ever got over losing you to me. He's not jealous. He's insufferable. They both are, for that matter. Honestly, all the pair of them have managed to do is persuade me to move out of Luke's suite. And come straight here to me. He was uh, holding one of those little things in his hand, a skinny little brown thing, like a cross between a cigar and a cigarette. You know? Cigarello? Yes, yeah, like like my uh, like my uncle Louis Louie used to smoke at Bensonhurst. Did Duke smoke? No one I knew him. What else can you tell me about this guy? Um, he looked a little bit like the guy from Silence of the Lambs. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, but the face was kind of skinnier, when the nose was different, and the eyebrows were real bushy. Look, like. you remember more than you thought. Yeah, but how is this going to help anybody? Maybe there's a way to get a picture of the guy. I mean... We? Who are you talking about? Robert Scorpio is here. 
That's weird. Patrick didn't say anything. I'm not sure he knows, but uh, Robert's going to try to decipher one of Olivia's visions, and I think you might be able to help him uncover something about Duke Lavery. Should I take one of these? Oh, you know, I wasn't sure what to get, so I had them send over a little bit of everything, hoping that maybe when I saw it, I'd know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. Well, don't look at me. My skills in the kitchen haven't improved. Well, I could use your company. It's about all I'm good for. <laughs> remember, Robin, she used to like to be your sous chef. Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. She was so proud that one time you guys made a pizza. <laughs> one of my fondest memories. I loved that little girl. She loved you, too. You were really good to her. What exactly are we celebrating? Voicemail. <laughs> if it hadn't been for the message you left me in D.C., I wouldn't have known. Maybe you missed me. Oh. I wasn't really angry for dinner. And... You don't have to be shy, Anna. When I heard your voice and I heard that message, it was as if all the years just melted away. When you said you missed hearing my voice, well... I miss hearing your voice. Look, I still have feelings. We don't have to answer all the big questions, like, are we still married, or do we pick up where we left off? We're here together. That's enough for me. To our future. Yeah, like that's that's it. But the nose, the nose is like a, a little bit broader. Okay. Right. And, the, and the hair, like the hair, oh, the hair is is long, is longer. It was. Yeah, sorry, I was trying to remember the face. I'm sort of forgetting about the hair. Yeah. 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 So like, like that. Like that. That's it. That's him. That's it. Oh my god. What? It can't be. Well. It's actually. <laughs> Do you think there's any chance Robert's gonna interrupt us? No. He better not. So? There's no reason that we can't be together then? No, there's no reason. Elizabeth, what's wrong? You know this person? I think you know him too. Face on. Yeah, that's it? That's him. Oh my god. What? This can't be. Elizabeth, what's wrong? You, you know this person? I think it's someone you know, too. Face on. Who's face on? Well, there's nothing to stop us from being together, is there? No. There's nothing to stop us. for you for so long. Maybe we should just slow this down. Why? Why slow down? You know how much I've missed you. Yeah, you've made that very clear. Okay, then I won't bore you by repeating it, but Anna, all I've wanted is just to hold you, to kiss you, to make love to you, to wake up with you in my arms, and now I have you. I finally, I, I have you here. It's not that I don't feel... Um, 
Please don't make me wait. Please. I'm laying myself at your feet. Please say yes. Say yes. It's the face of the one man I never wanted to see again. If he's involved in this, things just got a lot worse. It doesn't make any sense. Well, well, one thing does. That is definitely the face of the man that I saw when I when I looked at Duke Lavery. So who, who the hell is he? I don't even know where to begin. How does one begin to describe Faison? He's a relic from the Cold War. Black ops, wet work for the bad guys. He's also a... A toxic strain of bacteria. And uh, you two know this guy how? He's a master spy. Framed me as a traitor. It's the reason I never came back. This man is... He's done a lot worse in life. He's evil. He's left a wake of hell. So, so why have I never heard of this guy before? He's supposed to be dead. He's supposed to be? Well, we never found the body. Okay, but, but I still don't get it. Why would I look at Duke Lavery and see this... this Faison guy? <laughs> Oh, there's your million dollar question, kids. I can't do this. Lulu was talking about these visions you get. What's your success rate? Well, let's see, there was Lulu being pregnant. I guess that didn't really last. Um, Dr. Keenan, the poison water, the rain, there was Heather. I saw a whole lot about her. Um, Connie, I would say six or seven. Any big misses? No. Except that sometimes the message is only meaningful in retrospect, so. Did Faison and Duke ever work together? Faison's way above Lavery Station. Well, then if the two of them are connected... Ah, I never we'll... said that. They're connected. Through Anna. Don's mother was Anna's nanny as a child. I guess Faison fixated on her, and that then became a lifelong obsession. If he's involved in this, then it's all about Anna. Okay, but that, that still doesn't explain why Olivia would see Faison when she looked at Duke. Maybe... Faison has some control over Lavery. Look, you spend 20 years in a Turkish prison, anything's possible. But you know what? I, I hate to rain on your parade, you guys, but, but I'm not that complicated. I just, I see what I see. What do you mean? I mean, I see Heather, and Heather turns up. I see Kate is Connie, and Kate is Connie. I just see what's actually there. Maybe it's that simple. Maybe Lavery really is Faison. What's wrong? Um, I just need a moment. Aren't we supposed to be having dinner? Can we just have dinner? Did I misunderstand something? Did, you didn't want to kiss me? You don't... You don't have feelings for me? I want to. But I just can't. Why? Is this about Robert? Because Robert's returned to town. Faison knows that Anna despises him. So he's got to come at her from a different angle. Perhaps using a different face. You think he had plastic surgery to look like Duke? He has the connections and the resources. You guys, I'm sorry. I'm so this is just that's crazy. No crazier than Lavery turning up after 20 years in a in a Turkish prison when Anna's at her most vulnerable, grieving over our daughter. But why? Why would he go through all that? Why would he change his whole face and his voice and the way he walks? Because he can, and he'd do a whole lot more if he knew that that would get him Anna. No, it's it's not. It's not Robert. That's not. Why I don't want to. Then what is it? I don't want to pressure you. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, but... We're so close, I know. Why are you stopping? I'm sorry. It's you, Duke. I apologize. Perhaps we, we should just have dinner after all. No, 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 look, it's nothing that you've done. At least not that I can pinpoint. I... I don't understand. It's really hard to put into words. 
Is this how you imagined it would be? You and me? Honestly? Honestly, no. When I was in my cell, I pictured you throwing yourself into my arms, telling me that you loved me. Of course, I realized you probably had moved on with your life and you probably put me to the part of I didn't your mind. I forgot about you, ever. To be realistic, Anna, I knew you would have moved on with your life. You couldn't remain frozen. You would have had other relationships, but I thought when I came back into your life that we would love each other and here we are together and we're learning to love each other again. We were so happy once, weren't we? <laughs> We could be happy again. I mean, if you're willing. This sounds so vague. Do I feel the same way to you? Of course you do. And my love for you is just the same. It hasn't changed. Has your love for me? Something's changed. I don't know what it is. spent most of her life in the intelligence business. Under normal circumstances, she'd be tough to fool. But right now, she's at her weakest, grieving over our, our daughter. So what happens? Faison turns up wearing Lavery's face. A man who she loved. The one man who she would hope who might even still be alive. But, but how does this even benefit this Faison guy? Anna doesn't love him for himself. The guy's a psycho. Who knows what he's thinking? I mean, he might hope that Anna's feelings will change. He might be happy going on pretending. Wait, who are you calling? Anna. I got a warner. Robert, are you sure about this? Am I sure that Faison faked his own death and came back dressed up as Lavery in order to win Anna's love? No, I'm not. But if there's a ghost of a chance he's involved in this, then she has to know wait, about Wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone, you guys. I'm sorry to wreck your story here, but what if we're wrong about this? I mean, what happened? I saw a face I didn't recognize. You drew a picture. Is this really enough to sound an alarm? Nobody knows more than Anna what this guy's capable of. But all you have is a sketch of a man Anna thinks is dead, and you're going to tell her he's pretending to be Duke? You got a point. You know, my ex is never crazy when I turn up. Back in the day, Lavery and I, we were adversaries. I never trusted him. But if I tell her that Lavery's face on, well, I doubt she'll believe me. Worse, she may tell him. And there's no telling what this face on guy might do if he feels like he's threatened. I can't afford to tip him off. I've got to get more proof. I seem different to you. Yeah. How? I don't know. You're the man I loved. And married, and eventually mourned. But just there's something that... It's like you're the same, but different all at once. I'm sorry, I really don't mean to hurt no, you. I don't, I want you to be honest with me. I want you to be honest with me. We can't move forward with secrets and lies. It's me. It, maybe it's me. You, having you back has just made me question everything that I knew. Because if I was wrong about you being dead, what else am I wrong about? Don't, don't doubt yourself. You haven't changed, Anna. You're as intelligent and beautiful as you always were. I am the one who's changed. How could I not change? I've been running in a prison for 20 years. But the one thing that did not change was the love that I have for you. So please don't tell me that I fought my way back here to you. Just for you not to want me, not now. Please. You haven't lost me. I just need a little time. Can you give me that? You have all the time in the world, Anna. Thank you. I know we'll be together in the end. I've always known that. I know 
this sounds demented. But demented is the way that this guy works. I gotta prove he's alive and I gotta do it soon because he's moving quick. And if Anna won't come to him on his timetable, he'll just take her. Hey, good to see you. Since I didn't get a chance to talk to you at Edward's funeral, do I get to know what brings you back to Port Charles? I'll tell you everything. But first, I need you to do something for me. Which is what? Well, to begin with, you can't tell Anna. Hello? Any chance you can tear yourself away for an hour and have dinner with me? Oh, I can't. I got so much work to do, I can't. Well, I thought you would say that. You have to eat. Oh, and besides, you know, in your line of work, you can't have barbecue sauce all over your fingers. So you're just gonna have to slow down, take time, tell me about all those men in there. Wow. Okay. That was, like, super subtle. Mm hmm Just blatantly nosy. Well, I'm on an agenda, yes, but I don't hide it. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Robert's back, Duke's back, Luke is nowhere to be found. I suppose that's not a coincidence. No, it isn't. You've been married to two of them, mm -hmm. and three of them you've been involved with. Have you figured out yet which one you want? This sounds so vague. Do I feel the same way to you? Of course you do. And my love for you is just the same. It hasn't changed. Has your love for me? Something's changed. I don't know what it is. You feel different. Hey, Lavery. Something wrong? can't tell Anne. I'm guessing this involves Duke. You hop right. What does that mean? It involves the man who's stolen Duke Lavery's identity. And who's that? Faison. Luke has gone to Turkey to investigate Duke. And he somehow got Robert involved to, um, well, what? to basically badger me, which he is doing so well. So he shows up at my suite at the Metro, which... It's no longer my suite now, but anyway, I'll tell you about that later. So he waltzes in, as if he owns the place. And without so much as a howdy-do, he just starts going right into interrogating me about Duke. Because apparently Luke hasn't managed to find any incriminating evidence in Turkey. Well, that's good news, though, isn't it? Yeah, you would think so. But see, now Robert's twisted that all around and said that this whole thing is a sort of cover story and Duke is somehow now guilty of what? I'm not entirely sure. Well, Anna, think about it. You were married to Robert before and after Duke. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be jealous. Who side are you on? Just because you had a little bit of a fight doesn't mean that he doesn't care. care about me. I know. He's always telling me that, but he just has a very grating way of showing it. And Duke, he's easier to get along with, and I know how much he means to you. Look, you won't tell Robert this, but um, I kind of, I'm a little bit confused about Duke. You know, I went around to his apartment, and um, things got a little bit intense. You slept with him? No, no. But it was definitely headed in that direction. Well, it's been a long time since you've been with Duke, but it's not like you haven't been there with him before. No, no, I know, of course not. Yeah, I mean, obviously, but it just didn't feel right. You know, there's something about Duke that's, there's just something different. John Zucara, Lulu's business partner. Oh, of course, I, uh, I, I just haven't had the chance to meet you. Yeah, I've been busy. It's a first-rate establishment. Well, how did so? Everything all right? Are you angry at something or someone? Oh, myself. Huh. <laughs> I've been trying to quit smoking. It's such a filthy habit, but I, I'm failing miserably. Please mm -hmm. don't tell anyone about this, especially not Anna. None of my I, business. Or... See, the club, that's my baby. You know, you're gonna work for me? We're gonna have a little chat. I believe that Lavery is alive. What I believe is that he's being impersonated by Faison in order to get to Anna. I don't suppose you have anything like proof, Robert. 
Psychic visions? Oh, you're psychic now. No, no, not me. But I ran into this rather charming young lady uh, named Olivia Falconeri. Oh, Robert, I know you. You know, uh, you've I, never put faith in Hocus Pocus. Hey, humor me here. Olivia turns up to the haunted star. She runs into Lavery. She turns around, looks at him, but for a moment sees another man. Face on. Yeah, but Olivia didn't know that. She'd never met the guy. So she sits down with Elizabeth and describes him, and Elizabeth is able to draw this person. You mean like a police sketch? Yeah, she's quite talented. I recognize this guy right away. Now, if I'm right, and Faison is impersonating Duke, then Anna's in a lot of trouble. It's almost as if Duke has been frozen in time. You know, he's still as charming as ever, and we dance the tango, he didn't miss a step, he has perfect recall of just about every single thing we ever went through, perfect memory. But then, in other ways, he's... Such as what? <sighs> when Duke kisses me, it just doesn't feel the way I thought it would. Okay, I assume that you're uh, satisfied with my work. Oh, your work's fine. I'm more concerned with, what does a guy like you, with your experience, you know, running your own nightclub, what are you doing mixing drinks and hustling for tips? I trust you know my story. Mm -hmm. I've been incarcerated, to put it politely, for a couple of decades. By the time I got back, everything had changed. I've taken a job until I can get on my feet. That's, that's all there is to it. What else would there be? Maybe you working at my bar has something to do with the person you once were. Up here, that police report where Faison was killed. Robert, I can't help you. I don't have access. You know, I'm not on the force. Come on, you were police commissioner for longer than I was. I mean, half the force there probably owed their life to you. I mean, look, if I go in there and start to pat around, it'll be pure speculation. Anna's going to find out about it. Uh, it sounds like Anna doesn't buy your theory. I never really got to give her the whole theory. After I told her that I thought her library was bogus, she nearly had a heart attack. Come on, Robert, you and Anna always fight. That's not quite true. We always have each other's backs, and that's what this is all about. And look, if, if Anna is playing into Faison's hands here, after... What, what, what this is all about, Robert? With everything Faison took from you, you want one last crack at him. Convince me he's dead. Get me that report. Begging my business to know who works for me. So, yes, I know that the club you ran used to launder money. Well, that's a matter of public record. But it's also a matter of public record. I was completely legitimate by the time I left Port Charles. Is anybody ever completely legit? You tell me. I know you're the heir apparent to the Zakaro crime family and also to the Salubans. How do you know so much about my background? More importantly, why do you care? Commissioner Devane? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right there. Uh, gotta go see the desk, Sergeant. Right, well, we're not finished with this conversation. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Wow. Yeah. My fault. Wow, what are you doing here? That's too funny. We were just talking about you. What are you doing with Cesar Faison's file? It's difficult to leave that life, especially when your own family is involved. And it's hard to resist the temptation to be drawn back in. Now, when you've seen the downside, no, there's certainly the price to pay for everything. I'm out of that life. On to a completely different one. And I run a clean business. I intend to keep it that way. Well, then we agree. You working tonight? I'll be in later. I look forward to getting to know you better, Johnny. You and I have a lot in common. We'll see. I thought you vowed never to work here again. <laughs> I don't think I took it that far. Well, you're a civilian, walking the halls of the police station with Faison's file. What's up? Uh, well, you know, when Jerry Jacks put the pathogen in the water, mm -hmm. I just wanted to do something to help, so I had a lot of clerks pull every file with a similar MO, and, um, well, Faison was at the top of the list. Oh, yeah. He certainly had an extensive bag of tricks, that's for sure. Yeah, well, it was, it's been in my apartment all this time. I was finally returning it. Okay. 
Yeah, make sure the filing clerk buries that, because I'd just as soon never see that file again. Library. Scorpio. <laughs> Anna told me you'd return. she tell you why? Well, I assume Spencer called in the cavalry. He couldn't turn Anna against me, so he thought you'd come here and that you could, but clearly he was mistaken. Too soon to tell. No. All you succeeded in doing is making Anna angry, pushing her closer to me. I should thank you. I don't worry too much about angry Anna. We've been beating up on each other for decades. But you see, in the end, she always trusts me. That should make you feel a little threatened. Anna chose me, Robert. Not you. So it would seem. I guess there can be no other love other than that which Anna hath for Duke Lavery. You get it? I can save you some time. They never found Faison's remains, only boat wreckage. There's a record of all the vessels on the water that night. They searched them all. No sign of Faison. Yeah, I didn't think there would be. This is the way this guy works. I know Faison. It's all about mind games. It's all about using Robin's death, Lavery's face. It all adds up. Unfortunately, Anna's... She's grieving too hard to see it. You're grieving too, Rock. You think because I couldn't save my daughter, maybe I'll save the mother? But all this danger is just in my mind. I think you're the best at what you do. And if you say Faison is posing as Duke, I believe you. Thanks, bro. Can always trust you. And uh, I appreciate the risk you took here. Keep it. I made a copy. Uh, just destroy it when you're done. Thank you. Did you uh, run into Anna at the station? Yeah, I uh, bumped into her with the file, but I covered. How'd she look? Like she's got a lot on her mind. Maybe you got through to her after all? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a lot of proof. But I think I know who can help me get it. Thank you so much for dinner, because um, if you hadn't done that, I'd have just had trail mix from the vending machine. <laughs> yeah, well, some things never change. You right. used to live on vending machine snacks, right? Yeah. Which is why you need your friends to save you from yourself. And the next time we just talk about you, all right? Not me. Well, I'm happy. Good. And that's all I want for you. And if Duke's the one, although, is he so different that maybe you just don't want him anymore? Well, I wouldn't say that. You know, maybe I just have to take things slowly. Still, there's something that's, you know. What? Speak of the devil. Oh, hi. I was just leaving. Hello. She's all yours. Hello, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck with what? Oh, just all this paperwork, you know. Uh, got a lot well, of stuff to do. When you're overworked, you're even lovelier. No. <laughs> <laughs> have you been smoking? You caught me. I did just have a cigarette. Uh, that's weird. I don't remember Duke ever smoke. No. I mean, I don't remember that you ever smoked. I didn't ever smoke. I started smoking in Turkey. It was one of the few pleasures that we had as, as an inmate. It's very bad for me, I know that. Not good for my health. I'm trying to quit. You're not too disappointed, are you? No. No, I understand. But... It's just that this... What? Do you have any more surprises for me? I certainly hope so. Then you know what I mean. Things have changed, Anna. That's only normal. But the important things, they're still the same, and that is all that matters. Are you going to be able to help me on this? I see. So I guess I'm going to owe you big time. Bye.
Look, I respect that you want to take things slowly, but uh, is it possible for me to see this evening? There's something I'd like to discuss. It's important. Thank you. Good. The man who wants to be known as Lively is hard at work. Listen, thank you for letting me take them all. Yeah, well, we were down to say we had something important to discuss, but neither one of them have made an appearance, so... Uh... I guess I have time to give this a try. No pressure. Just tell me if you get a flash. So, Lively, you open for business? Good evening, Miss Falconeri. It's good to see you again. Can I get anything for you? I won't get anything. What about you, Scorpio? Excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt. Is there anything that I can get you? Um, I was about to order a vodka martini. Shaking that stick. How are you? He's a guest of the house. Oh, please. No, oh, you're the only reason here is because my dad sent you, so drinks are on the house. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hi. Oh. Mr. Haig. Hi. Um. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm just <laughs> curious why the urgent summons. You didn't give me a clue on the phone. No, I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'm here right now, so don't leave me hanging. Well, uh, why don't we just go sit at the table over there? Okay, the way. Duke and I saw Duke. I don't know why I saw the other guy. I got no idea if I'm going to see him again. Well, it's a good thing that Sue fares on once. Now I've got to find someone who can explain to me why. What's this? Yeah, and you are? The flavor. The name sounds familiar. I know some of your associates. Well, that was from a long time ago. I just returned to Port Charles recently. I heard about your associate, Jason Morgan, and he got shot. I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you. You had any leads on the shooter? No, we're, we're still working on it. Good. I'm sure you'll get your man very soon. So, how's the martini? Actually, it's not prime. Well, I've forgotten. You're quite the aficionado, aren't you? So, what's this shooting you're talking about? Well, Jason Morgan. Well, actually, I believe he was a quarterman. He... Yeah, I know who Morgan is. Was. He got shot. Fell into the harbor. What do you care? He used to be close to the quarterbacks. And I was being solicitous. You know, he never impressed me as a person who cared much for law and order. It makes me quite nostalgic to be back. Had a good run as police commissioner. I took out a lot of garbage. Must be a great comfort to you to relive your glory days. I've learned from the past, it's a mistake to be there. Yeah, I agree. That's why Anna and I are looking forward to the future. That should be quite enlightening to see how that works out. You might as well if you drink out the house. Some other time. Oh, don't leave on my account. Actually, I am. <laughs> Anna, thank you for coming. Yes, you said it was important. There's something that you need to know. <laughs> Still the same rancid ambiance. Come out, come out! Wherever you are. Confession to me. Confession? about who I really am. What do you mean? Who are you? Mrs. C! Or oh, do you prefer good old Helena? Robert Scorpio. You remembered. And here's me thinking that all that mileage might have taken its toll. Oh, how could I forget your misshapen countenance? Yeah, but a shameless flirt, eh? What have you done with my grandson? Nothing. Prince Nicholas is exactly where he wants to be. Far from you. I see. So you persuaded my darling Nicholas to help you lure me here. Oh, persuade is such a violent word. I asked, he accepted. 
Conditional upon the fact that I could never reveal his location. Face it, sweetie. Nick never wants to see you again. So he claims. Why do you want to see me, Mr. Scorpio? Well, I'm a sucker for high risk. You and Luke Spencer are equally responsible for the new one of my late husband, Mikos. But you never had to pay an oversight of mine. And I thought you loved the single life. I mean, surfing all those sleazy internet dating sites? Come on! You've managed to stay off my radar for decades. Now, there's only one reason why you would risk your life to face me. You want something. Are you trying to tell me? Well, you made it very clear to me that you need time to consider whether we should proceed. Well, that makes it sound like an ultimatum that's... No, 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 Anna, I have been rushing you. I'm very glad that you said something. I was angry at Robert. You know, he comes barging in, making all these judgment calls, and I came running to you, and, and, and I didn't really think about how you might interpret that. You don't think I'd ever complain about you running to me, do you? I want to move forward, I do. But I don't see what is wrong with us taking our time and getting to know each other again. No, you're right. I've thought about everything that you said, and you're absolutely right. I've changed. I'm not the man that you fell in love with 20 years ago. I couldn't see that, but you could. Well, I've changed too, obviously. We've both been through yeah, so I know, much. everything you've been through, you've changed. I accept that. But Anna, I've been in prison for 20 years. I've changed so much. I don't laugh as easily. I don't smile as much as I used to. I mean, I smoke cigarettes, yes, but I'm trying to quit that. I mean, as soon as possible. Well, I, I hate it, I swear. I hope you do. I hope you do. But I've also become very impatient, especially when you hold me at arms now. That's not my intention. I realize that. I know you want time, but from where I am after everything, it just seems very unjust to me. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm not blaming you. Don't misunderstand me. I blame all the circumstances that kept us apart for so long. Mm -hmm. But Anna, the only thing I had to sustain me was thinking about you. The only thing that kept me going was dreaming about you, dreaming about being back with you. So you can't really blame me for wanting to be with you, wanting to have you back in my life and in my bed. I guess it is unfair. All of that, but it, I really need you to respect my feelings. I do. Uh, I do respect your feelings. Are you sure? Because, Duke, if we don't move slowly, we're not going to be able to have the relationship that you want at all. What delicious irony. Having you here on your knees begging for help from the woman whose husband you murdered. I'd hardly call it begging, and I'd have been happy to put a bullet in Mikos and say You'll have but... my family's blood on your hands, and soon I'll have your blood I, on... I, I know, I've done you wrong. I mean, you, you, you hate my name to heaven and hell, you want to crush my, my bones to dust. I got it. That was rude. You're right. And I apologize. Who am I to interrupt a good revenge rant? But you want me dead, all right. Why don't we open negotiations? Would you like a seat? Very well. If you want to dispense with the usual pleasantries. <laughs> you call naked threats pleasantries? You're obviously pressed for time, so out with it. What do you want? I need some information. About a former associate of yours. Faison. I'm sorry, Anna. If you think I'm pressuring you, then I've changed more than I realize. God, now you're doing everything you can not to pressure me. Oh, good. You noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. The more I think about it, and I thought about everything you said, you're right. We should take it slowly. We need to take some time. We need to relearn how to be together. Yeah. I mean, we've waited long enough. Why can't we wait just a little bit longer? I just don't want to run the risk of losing you. There's no risk. And I don't want to sound pushy. You, pushy. <laughs> we belong together. You and I. I know that in my heart and in my soul. And if not today, and if not tomorrow, then sometime soon, we're going to be together. Without end. That's very poetic. Very Scottish. Hmm. Good. Because I have a plan. You have a plan? 
to win you back. Oh, there isn't any competition. Of course there is, Anna. There's competition. I'm competing with myself. I'm competing with a man you fell in love with 20 years ago. And if I remember correctly, he was a pretty crafty bastard. Yeah, he was. He still is. I mean, I think I might have to have a word with him and appropriate some of the old me tactics. Such as? Such as. Let's get out of here. Let's leave both your arms. Oh, I can't leave. I've got so much work. I do. No, no, I'm only I, talking about a few days. I know days. I bury myself in my job. I wouldn't, I wouldn't interfere with that, Anna. I'd think about how much fun you had the last time you took a break on Halloween. Oh, God, that's the last time I took a break? Really? You need a holiday. <laughs> Come away with me, just you and I. Let's go somewhere isolated, away from... Everything. And everyone. Why are you showing me this? What could you possibly want to know about Faison now? He's been dead for ages. Has he? Well, he went up in flames when his boat exploded on the lake. You know, funny thing. I was involved in a similar situation. Terrible explosion out in the open ocean. On board, I was with Anna, Faison. Myself along open deck. We should never have survived. But we did. And you think that Faison survived again? With your help. And if I were involved in this resurrection, why would I tell you? What's in this for me? Let's make a deal. What's it going to take for you to tell me what I need to know? A simple quid pro quo. If you want to know what I know about Faison, you will tell me why you need this information so badly. Okay. Settle in. It's a bumpy ride and a twisted tail. I thought we just agreed to take things slow. Mm -hmm. How is going away on a vacation together slow? Separate rooms. That's pretty slow. Yeah. Where? In the mountains. I mean, it's pretty close by. An isolated cottage. Bottom of the mountain. You and I, skiing together. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. I remember lounging in front of the fire with you. It's not so far away. The weather forecast says it's going to snow. You can have all the firewood that you want. And we can ski in Southern Mountain. Silver Mountain? We always used to go to Hurley Mountain, don't you remember? Zahn is back in Port Charles, passing himself off as library, and so far it seems to be working. Now, let me see if I, if I understand you correctly. Somehow, Faison cheated death, and then he spent the ensuing years altering his appearance so that he could assume the identity of Anna Devane's ex-husband. Well, one of them. I mean, she's had a few, yeah. myself included there. And you uncovered Faison's deception because a woman with LSD-induced psychic powers told you. Basically. I have one question. Where are the cameras? Cameras? No, the hidden cameras. I assume that this is for some tacky reality show, the real Cassadines of Spoon Island. <laughs> hey, I, I realize this kind of um, strains credulity a little. Strains? <laughs> credulity was annihilated even before you got to the LSD, and that was my favorite part. But this Do you is... seriously expect me to believe this fiction? But this is real. Oh, science fiction. Oh, oh. This from the woman who tried to freeze the world with a diamond-powered weather machine? Uh -uh. Not me. Vikos. May he rest in peace. No, that was the 80s. And this is 2012. I don't care what year it is. Lavery is Faison, and I found one of his trademark cigarillos to prove it. You did? Well, why didn't you tell me? Now I believe you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really thought I could get through that with a straight face. <laughs> so, I guess you're not going to tell me what I need to know. Well, what is there to tell? Quite clearly, your years as a spy have taken their toll. But, oh, Mr. Scorpio, you're either declining into dementia or you're delusional with jealousy over your ex-wife. 
Well, you always went skiing on Hurley Mountain because you thought Sullivan had too many ski bunnies. They were your words. Of course. I remember now. How could I make such a mistake? Well, I guess the mountains are next to each other. Yeah. Well, it's all the more reason why I should refresh my memory, but I don't want to go there alone. Will you come with me? I'm telling you, he's on his back. No, he's not. He's dead. How can you be so certain? Because if he were still alive, I would have found him a long time ago, and I would have killed him myself for failing me so thoroughly. Now, now you just want him back. Why would I want that? Because it's the only way you can win. When you're standing next to a leftover from the Cold War with a Dutch boy haircut, you don't look so bad. Hey, hey flattery's not going to get you anywhere this yeah. time, all right? Well, when you're standing next to a handsome Scotsman, will Anna even see you? No, you have to accept that you have lost this battle because between you and Duke, <laughs> there's no contest. I'd like to get away, of course, but I've just got so many open cases and the mayor's breathing down my neck. <laughs> Lucky mayor. Yeah. So can I think about it? Mountain isn't gonna go anywhere. Well, I must. I've got a lot of work tomorrow. I'll see you soon. Yeah, count on it, yeah. Preston. Hi. You staying here? Uh, well, yeah, Luke uh, said I could use the suite. His room, not yours. Yeah, I don't care. It's not my room anymore. Feel free. Thank you. Ladies first. Well, are you coming in? Yeah, I'll, I'll get the next one. It's me. I have a bit of news for you. Concerning a mutual acquaintance, Robert Scorpio, I'm afraid he's on to you. What do you mean? He suspects that Duke Lavery and Faison are one and the same. I see. Don't say I never did anything for you. Mind if I come in? Uh... Sure. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. That's okay. This will just take a minute. Okay. Luke told me if I needed some police assistance, you'd be the guy to come to. Well, what about your ex-wife? <laughs> I can't go to her without proof. I don't think I even want to know the answer, but proof of what? That a guy that who you think is Duke Lavery is in effect an ex-spy by the name of Faison. I've been doing some research online. Oh, yeah, for what? Hurling Mountain. Well, you should see it, Anna. Absolutely nothing's changed. It's like stepping back in a time machine. No Wi-Fi, no cable? <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the stone fireplace and the old antique rocking chair that you liked so much. Oh, that sounds appealing. Did someone's at my door. You expecting someone? Only the plumber. I have to fix a leak. Guess maybe you ought to deal with that leak. I don't want your apartment flooding on my account. No, not, not until you give me an answer. The manager's only going to hold the cabin until tonight. Ah, uh, well then I'll let you know at the end of the day. Uh, you know, it's... I promise. Okay, my breakfast date is here, so I got... Date? I'm not so sure that I like the sound of that. Well, too bad. Bye. Hi. Hey, hi. Thanks for meeting me. Sure, what can I do for you? Hire me. I flew out as soon as I could make arrangements. Is it true? Scorpio's here. He suspects who I really am. 
He confided in an old associate of mine, Helena Cassidyne, and she was kind enough to fill me in. So you tell me, plumber, are you responsible for the leak? I haven't revealed your true identity to anyone. Well, I wonder how Scorpio got the information. More importantly, I wonder what he's going to do with it. Well, no evidence to prove his theory. Perhaps Scorpio will give up. Mm. He won't give up. He is relentless. There's only one way to deal with him. Going to kid him? Is that wise? Not for me. Well, that's why you are here. I shall be far away. With the perfect alibi. I don't look who's suspicious of Larry. With good reason, too. But I, I still don't get how this Faison guy fits into the mix. Let me cut to the chase. Faison is obsessed with Anna. Spent most of his life stalking her. Ten years ago, we got a report that he was dead, but in effect, he's really been laying low and assuming Lavery's identity. So, Luke sent you here to warn Anna? Pretty much. But she's not going to go for anything without proof, and... Well, that's where you come in. I was afraid you were going to say that. It's simple. You've got to get Lavery to come into the station. On what grounds? Well, no charges. Just that you want to talk about police matter. Well, I'm going to have to be more specific than that. Lavery was once part of a criminal syndicate in Port Charles. Tell him, ask him. You want to use his expertise. Get him in there, get him in the interrogation room. I'll be behind the mirror. Now, let him loosen up a little bit. Talk about the bad old days and then throw in a question about Faison. What kind of question? Well, that he was uh, crossing through Turkey at the time that Duke was there. Okay, and then what, we, we watch him and see how he reacts. What do you say? I'm sorry, I can't do that. A lawyer says I need money to fight for custody of my son. I need to show a, a stable income. I need a job, Anna. Oh, honey, but wouldn't it be better in Landview? I mean, my Port Charles. Well, you would be closer to your son in Landview. Uh, yes. Uh, there's a restraining order bar me from any contact. It's a bit excessive. Yeah. I keep my distance because I know if I was in Landview, I would violate it. Okay. And if I go back in the Landview Police Department, there's a pretty good chance Bo loses his job as commissioner. All right, then I guess it's Port Charles. Yeah, you know, I'm living out of a suitcase, but I feel somewhat grounded here. I know some, some people and, um, you know, anything that, that makes me look more stable. Stable dad. Stable dad. I need to work. I don't really, I don't really have anything to offer you. I mean, like, not, not a good position that's up to your expertise, or certainly not your... You'll pay great. You know, I don't know much. Make me an offer. I just lost Detective Padilla. She went to New York City. So Dante needs a partner. I mean, it's not like task force or anything. It's, oh, it is what it is. That's okay. You know, Dante's a good cop. He's good yeah. people. And what about working with me? You know, we've had a different kind of relationship, mentor, whatever. I'd be your boss. Oh, I knew there was a catch. <laughs> I think I'd be okay with that. Great, John. That's... When do you want to start? How about... Now? Detective McBain, welcome aboard. Do you want me to drag Lavery down to the station under the commissioner's nose and question him? If this guy's this ex-spy like you say he is, wouldn't he be able to beat an interrogation? Let's forget the questioning. Let's try another angle. Plastic surgery. We need to get him in front of an HD camera or a scanner. Well, I don't have those kinds of resources. Even if I did, I wouldn't be able to justify using them. I need something. Anything right now. Of course. Surgery. There's no proof. Yeah, not with photographs. There's got to be a record, a document somewhere. And maybe he's got that on him. Can you get a warrant to search his apartment? A, a warrant? Don't you think that's going to tip him off? Detective, I'm running out of options here. Look, I, 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 I gotta go meet my wife. I promise you, I will help you to the best of my ability within reason. Define within reason. Now, please just don't do anything on your own. <laughs> I don't see that I can at the moment. Look, 
I've been at the PCPD a while now and I've heard your name mentioned a lot. Always with respect. You say that Lavery is phase on, I believe you. Just wait till I get back from the hospital. Stay here. When I do, we'll talk. You don't know who Ascorpio has confided in. If something happens to him, they might tell the police. Which would lead Anna straight to me. You can't risk it. No, I know Scorpio. He won't give up his theory that Duke, Lavery, and Faison are the same person. I have to find a way to neutralize him. Sorry, Detective. Faison's six city blocks ahead of me. And it's about time I caught up. I'm gonna go see Anna and find out how much she knows. Do you want me to accompany you? No. If she sees you, she'll recognize you from the clinic. You stay here. Of course. Let me know if you need anything. Well, now that you come to mention it, Frau Plummer, the WC isn't flushing properly. What are you going to take a look at that? Store. The Jason Morgan case. Yeah, the ME says that the accountant, Bernie Abrams, was shot with two different guns. We recovered one at the scene. It had Scully's prints all over it. You looking for the second shooter? Yeah, I think a good place to start is find out who Scully was working for. Mm. All right. Oh, what a surprise. Well, a good one, I hope. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, this is John McLean. Oh, Duke Lavery. Pleasure. He's an old friend of mine, a very talented detective. Mm. He's going to be joining the force, and he's got his first assignment. Looking for the second shooter in the Morgan case. Oh, well, if you're as good as Anna says you are, then I'm sure you're going to find him. I just spoke to you on the phone. I didn't expect to see you. Oh, I had an errand in the neighborhood. I thought I'd come by and see if I could catch you and ask you if you have an answer for me. What happened to this promise of being patient? Oh, don't be cross with me. No, I'm not being well, cross. I just get carried away. I'm kind of really looking forward to getting away with you. You know, escaping our jobs and our well-meaning but sometimes intrusive friends. Mm. Spending time together. Like learning our differences and perhaps seeing we were still the same. Right. Well, it sounds tempting. I've been giving it some thought, you know, and it would be nice, I guess, to get away together. Do I have an answer? about this ski trip, aren't you? Oh, well, it would be fun. When was the last time you had fun, Commissioner? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? You have a problem. Scorpio just broke in. I see. I managed to get out before he saw me, but he's still in your apartment. Thank you very much for calling me, Mr. Bromowitz. Uh, but don't worry, I'll, I'll handle it from here. You'll take care of it. Yes. Um, stay out of the way. For, for your own safety. Is something wrong? That was my neighbor. Uh, 
he thinks somebody has broken into my apartment, I don't know. What should I do? Should I call the police? I am the police. Sometimes I forget. Well, let's go to your apartment. Come on. You know who it is, right? You're yes, just behind me. Close it open. Well, I definitely closed it and locked it. Perhaps the Brahma was just right. Freeze! Freeze! Oh. Seriously? Breaking and entering? Well, I, I got my reasons. Yeah, well, you don't have a warrant, do you? Well, uh, that's in the car. You, you don't think I'm going to arrest you? Just, just calm down. If this is distressing you, and I don't have to press charge. Oh, shut up, you phony bastard. Can't you see how this guy's playing you? You never change, do you, Robert? You're just so supremely arrogant. Robert Scorpio doesn't have to have a warrant, a badge, anything. He can just barge in wherever he wants to. Trying to dictate my life. I'm sick I'm trying of it. to save your bloody life. Now, this... This here is not Duke Lavery. This is Faison. Is wrong with you? How can you even say that man's name? I can say it because he's standing right there. That. Look at him. That's Faison. Oh my God, this is insane. Yeah, it is insane. You know, it, it also happens to be the truth. I don't even know how to respond to this. Do yourself a favor and don't bother. Stop making this woman's life a misery and just tell her who you really are. Hi, hi. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. The now rich and still formidable Alice let me in. All right, so let's hear it. Am I heading to prison? Faison is dead. He's been dead for years, Robert. That's what we all thought about this guy. But think about this. There were two explosions. We, we, we all survived one of them. Yeah, barely. It took me years to recover. Faison survived the Port Charles explosion, then spent the rest of the time assuming Lavery's identity. You can't be serious about this. I've never been more serious in my life. Look, I didn't plan on bringing this to you yet until I had proof without a doubt. Uh, that's why I'm here. Illegally. I'm getting right. evidence. You bring all this to me. You invoke a man who nearly destroyed our lives. He took us away from Robin when she needed us. And you don't have anything to back it up? I have plenty to back it up. And I can prove that this man is face on. The DA for a long time. Thank you. Well, it was quite the list of charges we had to trudge through. And? It helps that most of your key witnesses are now deceased. For instance, your father, whom you almost killed. Yeah, I know, I was there. Your brother, yeah. who... We don't know if Jason's gone ...is yet. presumably dead. So, were you able to get the attempted murder charges dropped? It's a work in progress. <laughs> but nothing I am not able to handle. The kidnapping charges, however, that's quite the different story. Hey, look, I'm... I'm the one he kidnapped. What if I don't testify? Wait, wait a second. Michael, you'd be willing to do that for me? If I don't testify, they don't have a case, do they? Except you weren't the only victim. AJ conspired with Faith Roscoe to also take Morgan and Christina. And I will bet every shoe in my closet that Sonny and Alexis and Carly have neither forgiven nor forgotten. Yeah, the, the DA doesn't want to go to trial. They, they have to put me on the stand. And I'm the only one old enough to testify about the kidnapping because Morgan and Christina were too young. So can we use that as leverage for some kind of a deal? Our best option is to give the DA something that they really want in exchange. My freedom? For what? For someone who's a bigger criminal than you could ever hope to be. You're not going to entertain this lunacy. You getting nervous? Oh, what is the proof that you've got, Robert? I've got an eyewitness account. One, uh, Olivia Falconeri. Oh, that's the woman who couldn't stop staring at me the other night. She saw you at the Haunted Star sporting Faison's face. Oh, that's absurd. She was injected with LSD. She's been hallucinating. Well, then talk to one of your own detectives. Yeah, well, Dante is her son. Yeah, and he'll back me up. Her visions are absolutely reliable, including this one. She doesn't even know what Faison looks like. True. And she was unsettled by the whole thing, so she sat down and had to talk to Lulu. Who shockingly mentioned it to you. What a blatant setup this is. I had Olivia talk to Elizabeth Weber. Described this face perfectly, and she sketched it. She's not a professional sketch artist. Close enough. This is the face that Olivia described. Now, tell me you don't recognize that person. Pretty 
much spend the rest of my life in prison or turn rat. What would I have to do? I have to either provide evidence or, or offer information or testimony or something to the DA about someone who's a, a better get than I am. AJ's been in hiding for years. Who would he even know anymore? May I speak freely in present company? I have no secrets in front of my son. When your father was among the living, he was, uh, how shall I put this tactfully? A shady, irresponsible criminal. Yes, what he said. Exactly. But by no means the worst, which is good for us. Because if we hope to escape a life sentence, we're going to need some heavy leverage. Someone worse than AJ. Way worse. Someone whose crimes are so heinous, they make your father's pale in comparison. This is who Olivia saw. This man with Faison's face. Well, Elizabeth knew him, so maybe she just did it subconsciously. No, I was there. Elizabeth followed Olivia's instructions to the letter. There was no prompting. Are you sure there was no prompting? After all, Faison's always been your obsession. Anna was Faison's obsession. Your obsession. Just get on with it, Robert. When Olivia saw Faison, he was smoking one of those uh, signature cigarillas of his. Well, when I saw Duke the other night, this is what he left behind. You should quit. I mean, this really will kill you. I thought you said you smoke cigarettes. So? It's not a cigarette. Oh my God, Anna. You're not actually believing this, are you? You think I am Faison? I got someone. Really? Yeah. Uh, this guy's a... He makes me look like a saint. Well, that remains to be seen. And of course, I will need details and corroborating evidence. Who is he? His name's Faison. Start at the beginning. When I left poor Charles, I was in real bad shape. I had a broken back and a bunch of other injuries. My mom put me in a clinic in Switzerland. I stayed there for almost a year. I'm sorry, my fault. Speed it up. Okay. When I got better, I would start to walk around, you know, on the, on the hallway floor. And so one day I'm walking around and I get lost. I wind up in this uh, restricted area, but I see my doctor. So I figure, okay. I'm going to go over and just ask her directions. But she's talking to this guy. And I don't know, there was just, there was something about his voice. I just, it resonated with me. Like I recognized it. And so I decided to kind of hold back and see who he was. And when I did, it was Faison. And I couldn't believe it. You are absolutely positive. Yeah, he was wearing the same scrubs that they gave us all to wear, but he is a really distinct looking guy. Trust me, it was him. Did he see you? No. And we are the only two people that you have told this to. Yeah, I was, I was going to go to the police, but it would have meant that I would have had to turn myself in. I, okay, what do you want to hear? I was selfish. I, I, I know how dangerous the guy is. So if this Faison guy is as wanted as you say he is, he could be your ticket to freedom. Faison is dead and gone, Anna. Well, his body was never found. Yeah, but then how do we make the jump to, he stole my face? Dirk's face. No, I'm, I'm not making any jumps. I'm just stating a fact. Well, then allow me to play. The fact is, he's coming between you and I again. The same thing that he's always done. Take, take a look at me. Do I look like Faison? You've still got access to all those contacts, all those good plastic surgeons. So? I mean, if what you say is true, to what end? To get Anna. She hated you, but she loved Lavery, so you arranged to take his place. And it wasn't a bad plan. You almost got away with it up until now. Tell him, Anna. As lovely as it might be to hand the authorities Faison's head on a silver platter, we're going to need the documentation to back it up. How many years ago was this? Okay, it was a while ago, but he was still a patient when I left. Yes, but it's unlikely that he'd be there now. There's something else, too. He, um, he had a relationship with my doctor. A romantic relationship? No, 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 it wasn't like that. It was like a, more like a business relationship. And he wasn't very nice to her. I don't think Faison was nice to anyone. If AJ turns Faison in, would it be enough to get his charges dropped? 
provided that the authorities believe AJ's story, which, considering that it's you, is going to be rather a hard sell. Unless, do you have proof that you saw Faison alive? As a matter of fact, I do. What is next? I'll get stalking, I'll get paranoia, we've got breaking and entering, we've got all these baseless theories that you keep... Not baseless. Okay, so you've got proof. What proof do you have? You found a cigarillo on the, on the pier, you got the word of some drug-addled woman. Lock me up. What's the matter? You don't have a badge anymore? You know, you're right. This could be a good time to bring the agency. Or perhaps you'd prefer Interpol. Don't embarrass yourself, Robert. Do you just agree that this is madness? Uh, Anna, please, please, you've got to trust me on this one. You... I miss Robin, too. I know. I understand the desperate search to find something, anything to hold on to. But resurrecting a man that we both despise is not going to bring our daughter back. I'm not resurrecting him. He's standing right here. Oh, stop it. Anna. Do you know how that sounds? Do you know? Anna, you've been compromised. He's messing with your mind. Please. Please support me on this. I can't do this. I can't. I'm sorry, Robert. I... This is Commissioner Devane. I want to report b &E. Anna, you've got to trust me here. Your safety, it, it depends on it. I'm sorry, Robert. Just take him away, can you? The guy you're trusting. The guy you're trusting is face on. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. My mother gave me this untraceable cell so that we could communicate. It's one of the few things I managed not to lose. You managed to secretly snap a photo of Faison. Yeah, well after when he was supposed to have died. Now please tell me that's going to be enough for the DA. You have exposed an international criminal. You have proven that he is alive and still at large. You offer the authorities the ability to apprehend Faison, and those kidnapping charges are going to disappear faster than you can say Fashion Week. Have been easy for you. Yeah, it had to happen. Well, you know, grief is such a terrible thing. I, I think Robert may need a psychiatrist more than he needs a lawyer. <laughs> I think he'd prefer to spend 20 years in a Turkish prison. Thank you. You already said that. It's worth repeating. I mean, it means so much to me that you believe in me. PCPD. I yeah, appreciate it. Kind of feels like you've already been working here. Yeah, I didn't bet you'd expect to get stuck with me as a partner, you know? Sorry about that. I know. And I didn't get a chance to ask you for your input. No, no, no. If she had, I would have been all for it. I think we did a pretty good job working the pathogen case. It's going to feel like you're slowing a little bit, though. FBI and then chief of detectives in Landview and now this. No. I'm happy to have the job. I'm happy to be here. That's good. It's like me boring, I promise you that. You never know what's going to walk through those doors. I'm telling you, you're walking up the wrong guy. Do you think, Robert, honestly expected you to believe that I'm the man in the sketch? I never seem so adamant about anything, really. I mean, you know what he said is... Impossible. Yeah, no. Anna? Do you regret having Robert arrested?
going on? Breaking and entering with intent. Where? Home of Duke Lavery. Commissioner busted him. Made the call. <sighs> Thanks. I'll take it from here. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, no big deal. You're just following orders. I get it. Listen, Anna's making a huge mistake here, but I know you understand. Well, no, what, what you need to understand is that you're in a lot of trouble right now. What do you got? Hey, hey, this is a private conversation. Hey, this is this is Detective McBain. He's my partner. This is Robert Scorpio. He's Anna. Anna's ex. Yeah. He's a bit of a legend in the intelligence community. You've had uh, experience in the intelligence service? I have. FBI, 12 years at one point. Well, Anna was my mentor. Then you train with the best. Mm -hmm. And listen... We should be worried about her. So start talking. No, no, I'll start talking. Robert, legend or no legend, have you lost your mind? Well, Robert knows what he did. He, he, he understands the risks entirely. He broke the law. He knows what the consequences are. I, I won't blame you if you have to take out a restraining order. Oh, and, uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. I mean, Robert will wake up after night in jail and he'll cool his heels that... The very worst, he probably had like a crick in his neck. Yeah. I mean, he'll realize that he can't come between us. I mean, no matter what ludicrous lies he tells. Yeah. I know. I mean, obviously, you're not. He's on in disguise, and that's impossible. The man is desperate, Anna. But he can't harm us. I mean, especially if we're not here. The mountains are calling. I, uh, I took the liberty of purchasing ski lift tickets. Oh, my God. You're a betting man, aren't you? I would bet on you any day of the week. <gasps> Come on. Come on. You know you want to. It's kind of exactly what I need. Is that a yes? Yeah. I'll come away with you. Oh, Olivia. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Something I can help you with, Commissioner? Ah, uh, yes. There is such thing. I'd like to talk to you about this. Clearly, you outmaneuvered Scorpio. I saw him being led away in handcuffs. Yes. Not before telling Anna exactly who I am. He knows your face, huh? Yes. How did Mr. Vane react? Well... She thought he was absolutely crazy or insane with grief. But I'm not the one who called the police. She did. Then everything's all right? This is far from over. Scorpio will let me keep Anna. I'm going to have to take her. Where did you get this? Uh, Robert showed it to me. He said that when you looked at Duke Livery, this is the face that you saw. Yeah, I, um, I was describing it to Elizabeth, and this is what she drew. She's very good, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She could probably good enough to draw a portrait from memory, I would think. I'm sorry? What I need to know is, is this an exact rendition of what she thought she saw? Uh, in any artistic license? You know, did Robert help you with any of the features, lead Elizabeth in some way to draw what he wanted to see? Because Elizabeth knows this person, too. And I'm telling you. I did all of the talking, and I was floored when I realized that Elizabeth and Lover both recognize this man. Hmm. Is this really him? He had the God. He had the God. No, this is a spitting image. Well, I don't really understand hallucinations or what they mean or anything, how they work. I joined the club. So if... If this is the face you saw when you looked at Duke, does it mean that they're the same man? The lawyer was resigned from my time at the Bureau. You ever make any contact with him? No, but he held a prominent place at the top of the most wanted list until he supposedly died. He's not dead. You know this for a fact. Yeah, I just had a chat with him. Look, he's alive and well and living behind somebody else's face. Have you run this by him? Well, yeah, that's what got me in here. Kind of. She doesn't believe me. But, but you guys have got to come in on my side here. I've got to get out of here and get this guy before he hurts Anna, or worse. Dan Scorpio. I was showing up where he's not wanted. I already had to revise my plans once, you know, when Robin figured out that I wasn't a real duke. 
Such a shame it didn't work out. Returning Miss Devane's daughter alive would have made Duke Lavery a bona fide hero. I could have left her exactly where she was, dispensing medicine in the hospital. After all the trouble and expense you've gone to. I didn't even meet her. Huh. I didn't realize that Anna's attraction to Duke was so strong. I mean, I won her over in my own merits. I mean, and his, but I don't want to give him too much credit. But she and I have become very close. That's wonderful. Mm. <laughs> She's agreed to go away with me. So you see, I've come too far and I've achieved too much to stop now. Scorpio is the one who must be stopped. So, he has to die? Well, as tempting as that is, I've come up with a plan that is much more effective. Many people have listened to Scorpio's tale. I might be under investigation. So what will you do? Continue to deny? No, oh, that won't be enough. Anna has to see for herself. She has to see that Dudlevery and Faison are two separate people. I can make that happen. I'm going to need your help. So some of your hallucinations come true, is that correct? Yeah, almost all of them. But, but, but they don't always make any sense until down the line. I mean, some of them don't even make sense then. Like, mm. for instance, I just saw my future grandbaby as a dog. Oh, well, that's disturbing. You think? Yeah, I think I scarred Lulu for life. So mm. my, my point is that you got to take the things I see with a grain of salt, you know? Yeah, none of this is making me feel any better about having Robert arrested. I'm sorry, did you just say that... You had Robert arrested? Let's get this straight. Your, uh, your theory that Faison is alive and masquerading as Duke Lavery is based on your mother's LSD-induced hallucination. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the cigarillo, one of Faison's favorites found right where Lavery was standing at the dock. Right, sorry, I forgot that. So we have the semi-psychic sketch and we got a cigarette butt. Is he always like this? I don't know. It's our, that's our first day's so partners. Listen, we've also got Olivia. Now, she's not a semi-psychic. She's the real deal. It's true. I mean, as crazy as it sounds, everything my mother has envisioned has happened. Right. We call that a reliable witness. All right. Prefer evidence. Yeah, don't we all? Okay, given in my time I've known a couple psychics that turned out to be right once in a while. Okay, so you believe me? All right. You were mentored by Anna, correct? Yeah, we've known each other a long time. You understand that Faison's one hell of a threat here. Murder and mind control everything in between. I get it. Faison has been obsessed with Anna for most of his life. Framed her as a double agent. Took away all those years with Robin. She's blindsided right now with grief for our child. Otherwise, she would have seen through this guy. She also wants to believe that Lavery can come back to her. But at some point, she's going to snap out of it. And when she does, Faison's going to turn on her. Are you suggesting that Anna's vulnerable right now? Yeah. She's allowing herself to be manipulated? Yes. You also lost a daughter. Yes. And uh, there's not a day that goes by. That I don't think about that. But I'm not delusional. This is how Faison works. And I'm the only one that can stop it. You guys have got to get me out of here. Just we both respect you, Robert. We can't just let you go. Guys, it's a simple thing. You just go off and get a cup of coffee, and you come back, and I'll be gone. Yeah, except the commissioner makes the calls, and in this case, she actually called in to be any. <laughs> Look, Anna let light. Correction. Anna let Faison maneuver her, which should give you an idea of what kind of a threat this guy poses. I've got to get this bastard away from her. Obviously, we don't want her in any danger. Then you've got to go out there and, and, and arrest this person formerly known as Faison. There's not a lot to go on. Well, let me out of here and I'll get you something to go I'm on. Sorry, we can't do that. Okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. That it's on your heads if anything happens to Anna. It is not fair of my father to ask Robert to come back and deal with all of this. He should be here for a lot of reasons. Honey, why are you so upset about Robert? It's, it's not Robert. It's, it's hormones. Hormones? Oh! Of course, you can start against his underwear, is it? Aww. <laughs> oh.
That's wonderful. Oh. You can see how much fun I'm having. Oh, honey. Yeah, you're... Oh, sweetie, you're going to feel a lot better when, when you're holding that gorgeous little baby in your arms, yeah, right? Yeah, she's gorgeous. Gorgeous little yeah. kid. Thank you. Um, so, back to Robert. Um, what did he do? Well, he broke into Duke's apartment because he was looking for evidence that Duke isn't Duke. Did he find anything? No, of course not. Yeah, I mean, I think, I really believe that, that Robert's grief is kind of affecting his mind right now. I mean, it's totally absurd that one man could steal another man's face. Mm. So, um, did Duke's story check out? Yeah. Duke is who he says he is, who he looks like, who he sounds like. I mean, you know, you've been separated from Duke for a while, so maybe you don't know him as well as you... But I knew Faison. He stalked me for years. He nearly destroyed my life. And, and if I believe for one second that Robert was even remotely correct about this, well, you know, for starters, I, I wouldn't go away with Duke. So, where are you guys going? Uh, the mountains. Skiing. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to it. Are we clear? I'll go on ahead to get everything set up. of champagne quickly to get us in the mood for our adventure? Uh, yeah, who's the designated driver? Well, neither. Neither one of us, because uh, our plans have changed. Let's slow down. My, uh, my mother saw our baby as a dog. A lot of women. Hey, Lulu, great to see you. Listen, uh, you reckon you could post bail for me while I get out of here and find Anna? Well, you better hurry, because she's going on a ski trip with Duke. We're not going skiing? Oh, yes, we are. But uh, you have to go to your room and pick up your passport first. Why? Because we, my dear, are going to Switzerland. <sighs> Lieutenant. Sorry. It's detective now, isn't it? What can I do for you, Miss Cormier? I understand Tracy. that... <laughs> well, if you came here hoping to watch me get carted off to Pentonville, Someone tells me you'd be a little disappointed. Now, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? Actually, nothing would make me happier than to wave goodbye to you as you get carted off to Pentonville, but I am here on another matter. You have Robert Scorpio in custody, yes? I'd like to see him. Well, thanks for dropping by. Sorry, Robert, I've been busy. I am working on other cases other than your B&E right now. <laughs> Let me make this clear to you. Your boss, that pushy woman that got me locked up in here, He's holding hands with a card-carrying psycho. Okay, I can't just ignore her orders. Well, you might want to start to try. Because Anna's life is on the line. Danke. Bitte schön. If you don't like the view, Anna, we can always change rooms. Oh, no, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Something's troubling you. What is it? Just the last time I was here in Switzerland, it was because Heather said Robin was here. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought you here. Oh, sorry. It's fine. So I'm kind of surprised. I thought we were going upstate to ski. This cat's girl. Why are we here? Why did you bring me here? Anna has to see for herself. She has to see that Duke Lavery and Faison are two separate people. I can make that happen. 
Well, the Catskills are very nice, but uh, the food they have there is nothing compared to the food here, and also the skiing here is so much better. When a friend offered me a plane and these rooms, I mean, I could hardly say no. Besides, I'm not exactly welcome in the United States anymore. Since when? What happened? Well, my secrets are. Faison isn't welcome in Port Charles. I don't know. Really? Really. I guess your victim act was less than successful. You probably thought you were going to have Michael glued to your hip by now. Well, we're building a relationship, Tracy. It takes time. Really? Does really? Michael know that? Or does he know what the rest of his quarter means? No. That you're a black hole. You are a bottomless pit of self-pity and incompetence. Oh, you're going to fit right on it, Pentonville. You'd like to see that, wouldn't you? You shot my brother in the back. There is nothing I would like more than to see you in prison, especially before you and Skye can do any harm to ELQ. Mm. What if I told you that Skye and I have a plan to save the company? From you. This stimulating discussion of corporate politics is simply going to have to wait because the DA is waiting on us, AJ and Tracy, weren't you looking for Robert Scorpio? I was. Any time now, detective. Well, I'm busy. And although I'm sure you know your way around a jail cell, Jack, would you escort this young lady down to Robert Scorpio's cell? AJ, this is Detective John McBain. He is a recent addition to the PCPD, and I understand you're going to be joining us. I'm going to be sitting in, yes. Oh, that's good. I hope you are ready to deal, because what my client has to offer should not remain on the table too long. The DA is backed up right now, and the charges Can't are you facing call him a make a I'm a, I, I, I've tried. I'm Ryan, Look, Robert, 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 listen to me. I've tried. Okay, bottom line is you have to wait for your turn. Lulu, do you hear what she said last night? Now you are leaving on a ski expedition. I've got to stop that. It's too late. Anna's already gone. Why would you say that? There's nothing remotely funny about Faison. Not even his hair. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make light of him. I was just laughing at Robert and his highly creative and paranoid theory that Faison and I are one and the same. Yes, certainly paranoid. Not outside the realm of possibility, though, is it? What does that mean? What if Faison's alive? Deal that the city of Port Charles cannot afford not to take. Kill him. Juan, thank you so much for agreeing to this meeting. I hear your client's ready to confess. Oh, what? Well, I think my meaning may have been misconstrued. No confession. No deal. Right. Don't be so hasty. My client is in possession of information which is of great value to this government. And he is willing to trade said information for all the charges against him being dismissed. Look, I only took this meeting as a courtesy. I want this case to go to trial. I've got signed statements from your client's father and sister that he shot the father in the back. It's not a curiosity. What kind of information are we talking about? Certainly you gentlemen are familiar with the FBI's most wanted list. Where does Faison fit in that list? Get me out of here! Okay, look, I already told you the DA's backed up, but I will see what I can do. Tracy, I didn't think you'd come. Well, I wasn't sure I was going to come, but you mentioned Luke. Is he all right? Where is he? Turkey. Robert, you want to be more specific? Is he vacationing? Is he on a bender? Is he in trouble of some kind? Well, he's there handling his situation, and um, I'm here handling Anna. And judging from your circumstances, uh, Anna didn't like being handled? Well, she had me busted for breaking into Lavery's apartment. Really? A lifetime as a secret agent? You must be slipping. Well, uh, desperation makes me sloppy. I needed the proof. Proof of what? Brace yourself. But Rob is right. Faison's remains were never found. Or well, didn't he die in an explosion? I mean, there'd be nothing left to find. Now, that man cheated death before. Yes, but that's no proof that he would... It's a reminder that I need to keep my eyes open. I've been trained never to overlook any possibility, and I won't. But Faison was in love with you. He was obsessed with me. That's completely different. But if he loved you, wouldn't he have found you by now? Wouldn't he have shown his face by this time? I don't know. Maybe. It's just so unsettling to think that he could be out there somewhere. 
and don't think about it. Stop thinking about it. It's easier said. I nearly lost everything because of him. Why don't you go to your room and unpack? And we'll see each other in a little while. Okay, that's a good idea. Can we not talk about him anymore? the slam dunk that you are envisioning, given that several of the witnesses has di have died during the interview. Listen, what the hell is he doing here? He's my partner. Yeah, he's also Sonny Corinthos' son. All right. I would not go so far to say, as the detective, has a conflict of interest, but it is true that his father, Mr. Corinthos, does have a vendetta against my client. Well, Diane, Diane, please, if you want a grandstand, or do you want to deal? I'm on the clock here. I'm sorry. Deal? What deal? She wants to drop all the charges. What are you? Are you not a chance. We got an anti case against okay, this. Come on, a petty criminal compared to Faison. Faison? Who, who's talking about Faison? He's talking about Faison. That's great. AJ, where would you take this off the internet? Look at the timestamp, genius. That photo's taken years after a supposed death. And the tech department can scan the data to their heart's content once we have a deal in writing, gentlemen. Come on. This is a get for this department. This is the kind of arrest and conviction that, that makes headlines and resets career trajectories. So, do you want A.J. Quartermain or do you want Cesar Faison? Luke said if I called you, uh, you'd help. Well, that's because Luke thinks he can con me, even secondhand. Hey, look, I was mortified when I learned that he and Anna had hooked up. I always hoped that she'd do better. I'm not going to discuss my personal situation with you. If we're going to talk about Luke and Anna, we are going to confine ourselves to the crisis at hand. Now, you have a cigarillo butt, and the word of Olivia Falconeri, Port Charles's resident psychic, and that makes you believe, convinced, that Faison walks among us. You're going to tell me I'm crazy, aren't you? Luke trusts you. And if you say that Faison is alive, then I say you and I need to find that maniac and stop him before he kills anybody else. As always, it's a pleasure to see you. I am simply pointing out that the risk you are taking bringing that woman here... Uh, that woman, excuse me, her name is Anna. And whenever you talk about her, show her a little respect and courtesy. And about my judgment, don't question it, all right? I trust you implicitly. I am simply pointing out that the situation is perilous. You want a great deal of time and trouble. And Anna's presence here could be your undoing. Yeah, for Scorpio's interference left me no choice. I have to take a calculated risk to make Anna mine, okay? Say so the photo's real. It doesn't do any good without location, without a context. Can provide all that. Provided we have a deal. I thought you changed that. AJ, isn't that what you told Michael that you wanted to do right by your family? I do. Well, then how can you sit here covering your own ass while that maniac is out on the loose? You tell us what you know about Faison, and it'll help restore your reputation, maybe. A glossy reputation is not going to do my client any good in Pentonville. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gentlemen. Picking a quarter main loose, the press is going to go nuts. Look, we have Robert Scorpio downstairs with his own story about Faison. This is all starting to add up. That's your call. For what it's worth, Faison's a much bigger threat than this guy in here. 
I'm sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I just want you to know that I'm sure the Justice Department will be happy to give my client immunity and more for a shot at Faison, so it can be their triumph or yours. Yeah, I can probably find you a judge, and I don't think your bail will be too prohibitive. I can't even get a hearing right now. The EA's office is so backed up. Ah, oh, yes. Well, with any luck at all, they are working overtime to put my nephew in prison until the end of time. Do you reckon that they could put that case aside just long enough to get me out of here? Look, every second that she's with Faison, she's in worse danger. Have you made all necessary preparations? To the letter. But there is still time to change course. There are other ways to take care. Hey, Duke. Duke? Zana? Congratulations. You're a free man. Thank you. Not yet. So. Where's Faison? Switzerland. Hey, Duke. What do we do? Duke, I tried taking a nap and I'm, I'm kind of jet lagged. I'm a bit wired. Duke? Officers! Officers, there's a man escaping. He's a felon. Relax, Tracy. I'm free. What do you mean you're free? All charges dropped. That is not possible. You belong in prison. Well, I guess the DA found someone they wanted more than me, so I'll see you in the boardroom. Bye. Any news of my ring? No, but AJ Quarterman backed up your story. Faison is alive, and according to AJ, he's in Switzerland. Open the door, Duke. It's John. Uh, look, you need to call me right away. I have some information that you need to know. Faison is alive. Duke? Any news on my arraignment? Uh, no, but AJ Quartermain backed up your story. Faison is alive, and according to AJ, he's in Switzerland. Switzerland? That's what he said. Are you sure AJ Quarterman can be trusted? Hannah, it's John. Uh, hey, listen, we need to talk. I have some information that you need to know. Faison is alive. Hey, look, I'm sorry if this is interrupting your ski weekend, but uh, I don't think it can wait. Call me. Quarterman swears he saw Faison in Switzerland. He took a photo with his cell phone. Our guys are taking a look at it, but it appears to be legit. So what's Faison doing in Switzerland? Duke? Following my lawyer's advice, I am officially a detective with the PCPD. No kidding. Mm. And hired you? Mm hmm. Good. Your lawyer approves. Not only is it good for your case, it's good for Sam because she needs a friend. Hey, I want you to know I'm signing my first paycheck over to you. Please put it towards what Don't I owe you. Don't worry about it. Look. All right, now that you're officially part of the PCPD, could you please direct me to my client's holding cell? Robert Scorpio. Ah, they brought him in in a B and E. Mm. I don't know him well, but he was ex-law enforcement, so petty theft doesn't seem like that's his style. He's trying to prove that Duke Lavery is actually Faison. According to AJ, Faison was in a clinic in Switzerland. I'm guessing he was recovering from uh, injuries he sustained during that explosion. How did AJ spot him? Monica sent AJ there to recover from a broken back. This clinic, was it the uh, clinic Zengeis Zuhailan in Lucerne? Yeah. Yeah, it is. How do you know that? 
Now tell me about it. Who's in there? So is Anna. Anna? Don't. You're more beautiful than ever. Oh, shut up. You are. You're not happy to see me? Take it easy. What is it? How did you do it? Do what? How did you make me think you were Duke? How did you do that? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you. Impersonating the man I love. How did you do that? Duke's not really alive, is he? It was you! Oh. Maybe I can help clear up a little confusion here, okay? He's highly emotional. Upset him and then could shoot your husband. Let him go! Let no, him go! No, no, no. There's no letting go here after what I've been through in order to find you! Shut up! How are you even alive? God, did that explosion kill you? Well, it was pretty close. It took me several years to recover, only to realize that you're back with your, your ex. What, what is it with you and men, Scorpio, Luke, and Duke? Miserable trio. Why do you waste yourself on such men? <laughs> oh, pearls before swine! You're you delusional! Shut up when I speak to you! I'm the only man you could ever love! You're insane! You think I would love you? Well, love comes in many different forms. You're evil! No, I'm not evil. Yes! I'm the only strong man that could ever live with you. What is that? Look at that! What is that? Petty amusement? Don't you, don't you ever compare yourself to him. He is everything you're not. You'll think differently when he's out of the picture. Now, according to Luke, Heather Weber tells Anna that Robin's still alive. Heather Webber? Why, why would Anna believe Heather Webber? Heather's crazy. If you've never lost a child, you really wouldn't know. You believe anything. Follow any lead, no matter how futile. That's what Anna did. It's to this clinic in Lucerne. Yeah. She got admitted there as a patient. Found a transfer patient from Ferncliffe in Port Charles. Girl looked just like Robin, but of course wasn't. Luke said it broke her heart. Now, now, you're trying to tell me that Faison's being treated there at this clinic? Yeah, according to AJ, which I have to admit is one hell of a coincidence. More like a trail of breadcrumbs. Faison wants her at the clinic, but why? So, Robert Scorpio believes that Faison is A, thank you, still alive, B, masquerading as Duke Labor. That is his story, yes. Hmm. Well, I know Scorpio is an ex-spy, and convoluted is his stock and trade, but even by those standards, it's a bit of a stretch. And especially when you factor in that Robin was killed less than a year ago. You're suggesting that grief is somehow affecting his judgment? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe because he couldn't save Robin, he's now trying to save Anna from her great enemy. Even though the man is dead. Mm. That's one way of looking at it, yeah. Well, the alternative is to believe that Faison is running around Port Charles with another man's face. Stranger things have happened. Name one. It's a little too convenient Faison being spotted at the same clinic where Anna went to look for Robin. It's a setup. 
She was lured there. All right, I'm not quite there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't there when we tried to convince you that Faison was alive. That's a big step. Faison being alive to him somehow impersonating Duke. It all fits. Faison at the same clinic that, that Anna was lured to. He wants to observe her, see how she's handling Robin's loss. Then he sees an opening and whammo, he steps in looking like Lavery. Look, I'm a cop. I don't need convincing. I just need evidence. Well, while you're doing that, Anna's at risk and she's up on that mountain all by herself. Hey, open up. I ain't gonna try and reach Anna again. Uh, see if you can find my lawyer while you're at it. Skate trip, Huey. This is all about getting her up there and isolating her from her friends. He's got a plan. Listen to me. Listen. God. If you want to impress me, you let him go, okay? I absolutely agree. Duke, you are an impediment. Let him go. Shoot him, Cloud. No, 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 don't, don't yes. shoot him. Shoot him. Stop it. Gosh, you're insane. That's what you think now, but in no. time you'll forget. And you'll turn to me. You think killing him will make me love you? Our love come in different forms. I understand you're in need of an attorney. It's a long, convoluted story. Yeah, I got most of the pertinent facts. But since they don't apply directly don't to apply? your... Don't apply? If you try to explain to a judge that you broke into the home of your ex-wife's other ex-husband, who you believe is an Eastern Bloc spy who's been surgically altered, you're going to get 24-hour lockup in the mental ward. Well, if you put it like that... I'm putting it like that. Which is why you're going to do exactly what I say. So Spencer and Anna have been to the same Swiss clinic. According to Scorpio, Anna went there to look for her daughter. Right, right. So she told me about that, all right? In itself, it doesn't prove that Faison is trying to pass himself off as slavery. Then again, given Faison's skill set, it's certainly a possibility. And the whole timing of this little ski trip, all right? You have to wonder about that. I mean, you're, uh, Scorpio starts making accusations and what? Less than 24 hours later, Lavery's lured Anna out of town. We need to find a commissioner. Yeah. I've tried. Every one of my calls goes straight to voicemail. Duke, you cheated death once. But not this time. No, Anna. It's a trap! Come out of here! Oh, what an appalling noise! Shoot him! If Anna is on the slopes, it'd be a while before she checked the messages. Did she leave a number for that resort? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she did. It's called Hurley Mountain. It's about an hour from here. Uh, yeah, it's Detective Falconeri with the PCPD. I'm trying to get a hold of... Yeah, I'm trying to get a hold of Anna Devane, the police commissioner. Uh, uh, could you check under the name of Lavery? I see. Uh, all right, thank you very much. They're not there. Maybe we canceled the reservation. Where the hell are they? Anna. Can you hear me? What have you done to her? She'll be sleeping for a while, no worries. She's seen. We're gonna need her to see. What do you mean? Well, Scorpio put this stupid idea into her head that I was impersonating you. Robert figured this out? Oh, he was bluffing. Anna knew he didn't have any proof. But she lost a little faith in me. Faith in you? Yeah. Well, you were faith pretending to be me. me! Faith in me! That's why I brought her here to Switzerland. So she could see you and I in the same hotel room. Then she wouldn't know that I'm not imitating anybody, right? And there goes Scorpio's idea out of the window. She's too smart to fall for your plan. Your plan will never work. It's working just fine. Except for one little detail. You can't kill me, you need me. When a man has served his purpose, you gotta say goodbye. <laughs> Anna, can you hear me? 
And can you hear me? All of this is a lie. I love you. I love you. All right, thanks, Carly. And his car is still at the Metricourt garage, and she left word with the front desk to uh, hold all calls for the next two days. The delivery picked her up. The question is, where did you take ah, her? Ah, guys, you can hand off my holding cell to somebody else. My uber-talented lawyer here secured my release. I pled him out. My client agreed to admit to the break-in, and the DA was willing to play ball because he didn't take anything, and he also promised to stay away from labor. Isn't that correct, Mr. Scorpio? Oh, yeah. I'm more than happy to avoid labor. That doesn't apply to Faison, though. Uh, guys, I want to talk to Anna. Hey, guys, <clears throat> look, uh, I know the routine. The commissioner has to phone in her location when she leaves the jurisdiction. We've uh, tried to reach Anna at the resort, and uh, she never checked in. You checked the cell phone? She's not picking up. Well, this is good news. She's up there on the mountain with that crazy, and we can't locate them. Regrettable, but necessary. Who you shot your own man? Why? You're so slow. I don't understand what she sees in you at all. I didn't shoot him, you did, Lavery. While saving Anna from the monstrous Faison. But sadly, Faison vanished into the thin air. As soon as she recovers from her shock, she'll know that you're a fraud. This masked cartoon you've created of me, of me, the man that she loves, you'll never get near her. On the contrary. Anna will throw herself into my arms, overwhelmed with gratitude. So say your goodbyes, Libra. Anna, Anna, if you can hear me, it's Faison. This whole thing is a fraud. It's Faison. It's All right, life. Anna. All right. Bring that canary back to the clinic. This just couldn't have worked out better even if Faison had planned it himself. I shot my mouth off without any proof and pretty much pushed Anna right into his arms. Okay, look, just because Anna didn't make it to Hurley Mountain doesn't mean Faison has her. They might have headed the room. Maybe they went to a different resort. Well, why hasn't she answered her phone or returned any of your calls? I don't know. I need to get these guys to call some other resorts, see what I can find out. Mm, good deal. Okay. Will you do me a favor and keep an eye on him? I'm going to process your release. Mm -hmm. Stay. You got federal credentials. Mm. You know what we're dealing with here. This guy's a sociopath. He doesn't care who or what he hurts. He just wants Anna. If she doesn't cooperate, well, he's going to kill her. We might have a lead. Clinic? Yeah. yeah, that is in Switzerland. The clinic. The clinic is one of these uh, places for rich people where they sometimes stash undesirable relations. You pay enough money. Anything medically you want can be handled with discretion. Mm. Including a relic from the Cold War who wants a new face and identity. I didn't say that. Ah, but you're not dismissing it either. No. You know, I never met a Fed who deep down inside didn't want to try it out as an agency man. See whether you got the wherewolves to be a spy or not. This is your big chance. We gotta stop this guy before it's too late. Anna. Anna. Anna, wake up. Anna, my darling. Anna? Please, it's okay, it's okay. He was here, he was here. He was here. But he's gone. You're safe now. What happened? He injected you with something. You lost consciousness. I think he was gonna... He was gonna make off with you. Oh, God, is he dead? It's... Yes. We struggled over the gun and I shot him. I, I killed him. I saved you. His arm is gone. You need to follow him. No, no. He's long gone. You won't find him. You're safe now, Anna. You don't need to worry about Faison. How does Faison get to escape so easily? For all we know, he is still in the hotel. Oh, that's comforting. 
rest assured, we have eyes on you and Mr. Lavery. No, I know that. Thank you. I'm just frustrated, you know, that he can vanish again. Where is he? If Anna discovers that I'm masquerading as Duke Lavery, then all my troubles for not. Your secret is safe. Let's hope it was worth it. Anna's already seen Duke Larry and Fizon in the same room at the same time. How much more proof does she need that I'm not Fizon? It was a stroke of brilliance. Hi, Dave. May I help you? I'm Detective John McBain. I'm with the Port Charles Police Department in New York State. This is my trusted associate. Robert Scorpio, consultant for the Interpol. Yeah, and um, we're here and we're looking for... We're looking for this man. Have you seen him? No. No, you haven't seen him. That's, that's very disappointing. Uh, how about taking a look at this guy? He said he was here a few years ago and said he saw the previous man. His name is Faison here at this facility. Let me know if you recognize this man. I do remember this man. He had a broken back, I believe. Mm. But as to the other, I'm afraid he's mistaken. That man was never here. I see. Well, that's, that's too bad. That's, that's too bad. However, we do have a warrant that we secured from the local authorities, Robert. And uh, we say we have a little look around this facility. Let's start with, um, oh, I don't know, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. What do you say we open this door, Doc? Who was that on the phone? Oh. It was my man in Washington, to be more accurate, my handler. The case agent? Yes, I was just briefing him on the reappearance of Faison. I told him Robert had accused me of being Faison. Mm -hmm. What did Interpol have to say? They're broadening the search. I have to call my people and let them know what's going on. Is that really necessary? What, this guy, Doc, do you know him? I'm afraid I don't. <laughs> She's lying. She's seen him, she's seen Faison. He had plastic surgery, didn't he? I mean, that's why it took so long to recover. He now looks like Lavery. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. This case has security implications for several countries. Any you know may help us. She's covering for him. Now listen, you're gonna wind up an accessory here if the law enforcement official that he's holding is harmed in any way. Holding? I, I yeah, don't you're, understand You're gonna what tell me what I wanna know before it's too late for Anna. For some reason, my phone's not charging. Can I borrow your phone? I gotta call my office. Yes, of course, but can I ask you something first? Yeah, what? I'd like to forget that Faison was ever here. I mean, but that's probably not possible. Well, no, of course it's not possible. But listen, when I was tied up with a gun to my head, I heard you tell Faison that Robert was right, that I'd been masquerading as Duke. Yes, but I wasn't accusing you. Yes, but when I was, I was back, accusing him. You were in danger and I felt helpless. There was nothing I could do. And when I heard that you doubted me, I felt that everything that we had together since I came back was not real, that it was all gone and lost. I felt as if I was losing you all over again. I'm sorry. Well, now that you know that I'm not Faison, is it possible that you could trust me? Could you maybe trust me the way you trusted me when we were husband and wife? Do you still doubt me, Anna? Is there anything that I can do or say to prove myself to you? You don't have to prove yourself. It was shocking to see Faison. I was terrified. And, and I just jumped to the wrong conclusions. And Robert had been adamant about that. And, and so I believed him for a minute. Have you any idea how jealous I get of this blind faith you have for Robert? I wish you could trust me in the same way. I do trust you. You know, when, when Faison's henchman brought you out here, then I realized that I'd been wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't need an apology. This isn't about blame. I just need to know that, that you believe in me. I don't know what else to say. You know, I, when you were brought into this room, my questions went away, you know? I, all I could think about was saving you from Faison. I couldn't bear to lose you again. You're not going to lose me. Don't you know that by now? I'm just grateful that you're alive. If you don't tell me what I want to know, I swear on my own life, 
I'll have you thrown into this little boutique prison in Bulgaria where you'll be breaking bricks from oh, dawn till dusk. All right, you made your point. Hey, if you don't like this, get a coffee. All right, You're step a back. Don't, don't I, leave me with him. He's please. also I, off his meds, but listen to I, me. My associate, he's just very step up there. He's very upset about our associate, all right, as am I, Anna. And we need to find her, all right? But listen, Dr. Albrecht, she's answered all our questions. What do you mean Albrecht? she's giving us bugger all? Robert, this is my case. You're a consultant, okay? If Dr. Obrick can't help us, she can't help us. We're done here. Yeah. Is that how Anna taught you how to play a good cup of coke? That warrant in your pocket is actually a Chinese menu. Don't you think you were laying it on just a little thick? It depends. Did it work? to my room. That's been a long night. Seriously? You're leaving now? No, I'll be back. Got the rest of the night together. Hmm. Those may be the sweetest words I've ever heard. Bottle of your best champagne. Now what? I thought you should know that I have once again saved your Hinterbacken from Dun Fleming. What do you mean? Scorpio and uh, Detective McBain from the Port Charles Police were here. Damn it. I managed to stop Anna from making a phone call. How did they connect me with Switzerland? Relax. I told them that I'd never seen you and that Faison had vanished years ago. They know nothing about you or your whereabouts. And where are they now? I don't know, but I know for certain that they know nothing. Hey, here's on the phone. Let go of me. You look so beautiful. Just tell me a message. I will return your call as soon as I can. Where's Anna? Where are they? <laughs> think I'm going to tell you? <laughs> I'm call Trist. Too late. It's Falconary. I got a location on Anna. She's at a hotel in Lucerne, Switzerland. Switzerland. I know. I'm on it. Can we move to the bedroom? Yeah. Ah, another interruption. But this time that's only room service. I ordered fondue and champagne for later. You see? There's nothing can stop us from getting together. Scorpio, you've got me joking. Broom service. Get out of here. Ah, we have a wonderful fondue here. Not very original, but no oysters. <sighs> this takes talking to a whole new level. What are you doing here? I told you to leave me alone. Why are you here? Obviously, you didn't get my message. What message? About Faison. This is ridiculous. Get out of here. Faison. You called me Fa about Faison. Faison's alive. Yes. AJ Quartermain's well, got I evidence. I want to explain something to you. Look, AJ took a photograph at that clinic that you and Luke went to looking for Robin. I, I mean, need this to tell can't you be a something. coincidence. It's true, Anna. A doctor confirmed that Faison was a patient. This was after the supposed boat explosion. Yeah, he's alive. I mean, there's your proof. I know. You do? Yes. I've seen Faison in the flesh. I've seen him where? Right here, in this room. So I have advised Interpol, and they'll find Faison, I hope. Find him? He's right here. What, do you think I'm Faison? What do you mean <sighs> that Faison was in this room? Well, uh, well what she meant was that huh? uh, she doesn't believe this is the real Duke Lavery, right? He is. What I'm saying is that Faison was in this room. I walked in, and he was waiting for me. And he had Duke tied up and gagged. You saw Lavery and Faison together? 
Yeah, I, I saw both men in the same room at the same time, which blows a hole in Luke's theory that Faison somehow had his face transformed with plastic surgery. Tell me, how did Olivia come to be looking at Lavery in C. Faison? Or well, maybe it was the LSD. Now, please, will you get the hell out I of here? I don't know. It was a premonition, Robert. Maybe she knew what was going to happen here tonight. What <sighs> Faison was going to come after Duke. Talk about twisting the evidence to suit There's yourself. No evidence. It was a hallucination. It doesn't mean anything. But what is certain is that Duke and Faison are two different people. Well, Robert, I think perhaps you owe me an apology. Son had Duke tied up and he threatened to shoot him. And yet Duke's standing here. Yes, because he overpowered Faison's man and he got free. What happened to Faison? I don't know. He was gone by the time I came to. What do you mean came to? Well, Faison gave me a sedative and I was out for a few minutes. You know, Duke and Faison may not be the same person, but they're obviously working together. No, he would never be associated with Faison, ever. And Robert, I thought you and I settled our differences. Why can't you accept the fact that I have not done anything? We ran into a Dr. Albrecht at the clinic who admitted that Faison was a patient. So? That doesn't connect him to Duke. We showed her a photograph of Lavery. Then what did she say? Swore up and down she didn't know him. Well, why are you wasting our time? Can you just leave, please, both of you? You don't know a Dr. Albrecht, do you, Lavery? No, I don't believe that I do. Well, that's interesting. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's interesting because right after we had gone, after swearing she'd never seen you before, she made a phone call to you. You two are just clutching at straws to support this absurd theory. Well, if it's so absurd, why are you getting so flustered? Well, in case you hadn't noticed, you interrupted a very important evening. I can see you went all out here. Really cool. It's hot. Oh. Anna doesn't want you, Scorpio. You lost. She wants me. So please, be a gentleman and take yourself and your ridiculous friend and get out of here. Could you tell me um, about this supposed phone call between Dr. Albrecht and Duke? Oh, Anna, please, you can't possibly be taking I just this seriously. Want to clear things up. No, you've given them proof. You've given them an eyewitness account. There's no way I could be anything to do with this phase on, but still, they could. They, it's persisted on something to do with an obsessed arch criminal who's altered his face to, to fool you? Well, well, you're right about that bit, about the arch criminal bit. And now they're trying to fabricate some association between me and somebody that I haven't even met. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this is, uh, this is Obrick's phone. We, uh, we confiscated it. What do you say we redial the last number called? Miss calls from that number. She was obviously phoning you. <laughs> the only thing that's obvious is these two got a hold of my phone number. And then they picked up a prop phone in order to set me up. Set you up for what, Lavery? All this proves is you and Faison are the same doctor at the same clinic. It's nothing to get upset about. Well, I'm getting upset because I was trying to have a romantic evening with my ex-wife, in case you hadn't noticed. But her ex shows up with this ridiculous lackey trying to make her doubt me. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, admittedly, yes, Robert's methods and motives are questionable at best, but McBain would never manipulate evidence. Anna, oh. do you doubt me? Are you getting a little hot under the car, Library? I don't know about him, but it's... must be a thousand degrees in here. Yeah. What is it with the heat? Yeah, I turned the heat up. Why? Oh, it's lackey's instinct. What are you talking about? Do you know? We're all sweating, except for... Except for you, Lavery. Why is that? A mask? What are you, mad? A mask. It's perfect. That's the reason you saw the both of them together. Now, he wouldn't have minded showing his ugly dial to you. So he takes off the Lavery mask and puts that on him. Oh, would you listen to yourself just for once? You take paranoia to a whole different level. Was Lavery gagged the entire time you saw him? Yes, he was. So you never heard his voice? And you were conveniently unconscious when Larry comes in and takes out the henchman. I mean, how would you know what went on during that time? I wouldn't. Faison comes back, takes off, takes out the goon, puts on the Lavery mask just in time for you to wake up. But Duke shot Faison's accomplice. He was here. He was dead on the floor. 
Oh, come on, the guy's a psycho. What does he care about offering one of his own? Oh, I've had enough of this. If you won't leave, then I'm leaving. I know. Will you come with me? Yeah, all right. Oh, Anna, please. You're smarter than this. No, I'm going to go with him. Why don't you take me to that? That little inn, do you remember it? And the Andermatt? We got snowed in. Yes. Of course I will. What's wrong? We never went to the Andermatt. We never got snowed in. Okay, so I lied to you. Yeah, you did. Okay, I lied to you. I lied because I... I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I didn't... Because I've forgotten something that was important to you, something that was romantic, that wasn't... But you taking their side, you're, you're taking their side against me. Are you turning this around no, on me? No, no, no. I'm not turning it around. It's just I'm hurt. My feelings are very hurt. Now, I'm going to leave. When you come to your senses, I'll come back and I will get you. Deteriorates latex. I really help her write it. Agent Crow. Let Tell me, babe. No. Maybe I should have contacted you. Please, please, no, 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 no. please, please yeah, we, we need to get him to the hall. I can't let you see me like I want to see how bad it is, please. We'll tell Ray Crow. Man, why I had to. I can't. No explanations well, necessary. For all right. time's sake, Scorpio, please. <sighs> Interpol's on the way. But, yeah. Look at this. It's starting to melt. Couldn't happen to a nicer psychopath. I did it all for you, man. Shut up. You stole another part of my life that I cherished. You're a monster! No, Anna, I'm not. I love you. You know I love you. All this loved you. You know that. All I want you to do is to love me back just a little bit. Senator McBain, here you go. Anna, please. Yeah, please. It's all yours. Anna. Just, just, just a minute. Just a minute. Thank you. Quick. All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Almost Christmas. I've probably already decorated the tree. I wish I could see it. I miss you, Patrick. I miss you, Emma, so much. I miss my whole family. Patrick, I miss you so much. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Dinner. What, no service with a smile? Is this isn't a hotel. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. You're usually so calm and collected. You have a bad day? My days have no concern of yours. Well, it might help you to talk about it. What happened? One of your patients get restless? Or, or did someone finally complain about your unorthodox treatment protocols? Be quiet! Oh, looks like I struck a nerve. I mean, you can tell me whatever it is. It's not like I'm in a position to spread gossip. I tell you what's wrong. Faison was captured. Hey. Got you some coffee. Mind you, with your sweet tooth, and here we are in. Anna? Oh! oh my God, 
could I be any more stupid? I'm sorry, what did you just say? Nothing of your concern. No, you just said Faison was captured. My mother figured it out, didn't she? She would never believe that Faison was Duke. She believed. She, she had totally succumbed. It was the perfect plan. Not so perfect if it fell apart. <sighs> Thank God my mother's free of him. I hope Faison is right. I don't want hell. to hear another word about your mother or your father. As far as I'm concerned, they can both go to hell. Why don't you just say it? I told you so. Why don't you? Because that's something I don't want to say. Really? Why not? Because you're right about all of it. Faison, the master puppeteer, you know, he gets Duke to resurface after two decades in a Turkish prison. Oh, God! Faison. The whole ridiculous cover story that I should never have fallen for. What is wrong with me? You wanted to believe it. Why? Because he looked like Duke, because he said he was Duke. I'm a spy! Well, that's a joke. I'm trained to be able to see through people who aren't who they claim to be, to spot inconsistencies, to know what is a lie and what is the truth. You told me it was Faison. You said it. I wouldn't believe you. I didn't have any proof at the time, and I was less than tactful the way oh, I just got. stop it. Could you not be so gallant? Would you rather I gloat? Yes. Actually, I would. You said I was compromised. I got sloppy. Got sloppy. What you did, my dear, was get played yeah. by one of the best. I'm a professional. I'm smarter than this. I am. I'm smarter than this. Why couldn't I just see it? What was right in front of my face? Because of Robin. So my dad knows about Faison. So my mom and dad, they're working together. Only I'd done as Faison asked. He wanted to eliminate Scorpio, and I talked him out of it. Well, good call on your part. I was concerned it would raise suspicion. I, I couldn't see the big picture. That Scorpio was too big a threat to leave alive. Interpol's probably holding a lottery to see which country gets to try and convict Faison first. Such a brilliant man. He threw it all away and, and, and left me to deal with the fallout. Dr. Obrecht, you're in a very difficult position. Maybe it's time to cut your losses now and let me go. Now! Here. I, I'm nothing but a liability, just one more crime for the police to charge you with. I mean, is this really what you wanted for yourself? Don't you have a family I and mean, people that love you? Family is not your concern. Well, I haven't seen my family in almost a year. You have no idea how much I miss them, how much I miss my husband and my little girl. I should care for your suffering. You're a doctor, just like I am. You don't become a doctor without caring about people. This is an impossible situation. It's a very simple way out. All you have to do is trust your own humanity and just have some compassion for me, for my whole family, and just let me go, please. You had your heart broken. You both did. No parent should ever have to bury their child. I mean, how do you describe in words that sort of a loss? Luke, Luke said you were dealing with it. And then that idiot, Heather Weber, has to go and tell you that, that Robin's alive. She did the worst imaginable thing for a grieving parent. She gave them hope. So up you go to Switzerland. When you get there, you discover that Robin's gone. So you've got to deal with the loss all over again. Yeah, I did. And then in, in the middle of all of these steps, Duke Lavery, alive and in color, standing in your living room. I could have shot him that first day. I wish to God I had. Faison's timing here was, in, was impeccable. He knew he could never get away with any of this unless you were grieving for Robin. But as it is, he still had to throw everything he had at you, including a dead man's face. What if he didn't? What if that man is still alive? 
wasn't just about me. But why should you have to pay for the crimes that Faison committed? If you let me go, then you look innocent. Things are difficult. Yes. Now is the time when one's faith is tested. And I have faith in Faison. Well, you're going to be very disappointed. Because Faison is a treacherous man. And he only cares about himself. He will save himself and he'll blame you for everything. Faison will not compromise his plan. He'll find a way to remedy the situation. If my parents know that Faison is alive, it's only a matter of time before they figure out the rest. That I am alive and that Faison is the one that took me. It's too random. Like, Trust me, no that... Dr. Obrecht, you do not want Anna Devane and Robert Scorpio to find me shackled to a bed. You don't want me to have to explain to them that you are the one that held me prisoner. If you want to get out of this alive, you have to let me go. You may have a point. I have no choice. To eliminate you. Don't do this, Anna. Please. I mean, no, no, I no. ignored my instincts before. I overlooked inconsistencies, and I'm not going to make that mistake again. What inconsistencies? All right. Hear me out. When I come into this room, Faison is in here, right? Mm. And he had this thug. Uh, oh, God, what was his name? Oh, it was Klaus. Of course it was Klaus. So Klaus brings Duke into this room. He's all bound and gagged, and he's being held at gunpoint. And uh, um, this man that I thought was Duke, he's fighting against his restraints, and he's trying to tell me something. And, and that's when Faison says to Klaus to shoot him. And I go for the gun, and I try to get it. Well, that was staged. Yes, exactly. Right. At that point, Faison drugs me. And I'm out. And then when I come to, now Faison has got this whole mask back on again as Duke. And this Klaus person is lying here. He's dead. Duke says he shot him and that Faison escaped. So what's the problem? Who was that man that was Duke? Who was the man being held at gunpoint? We went through all of this. Faison came in, stuck the Duke mask on the henchman. Right, of course, because anybody could look like Duke if they had that mask on. But what if there's another possibility? Well, wait a minute. You're, you, you're not buying Yeah, it. no, listen. What if Duke Lavery is alive? What if that was him? Faison had this plan down to the last detail. He needed you to see him with Duke. So the best thing was to slap a mask on one of the henchmen. Right, I know. It's vintage Faison. W why don't you want to believe that? Well, because when Faison was posing as Duke, you know, he, he wasn't just some mute person. He knew things, right? He, yeah. he knew things about me, Duke, mm -hmm. conversations, places we'd been, things that only Duke and I would know. But this is Faison. You don't think... He's capable of getting such a thorough dossier. Right, I know, but I was also wondering why when Luke went to Turkey that the story checked out. Wait, wait, wait. Luke said he couldn't, he couldn't disprove Lavery's story. Right. Maybe because Duke Lavery had actually been in that Turkish prison. Uh, wait, wait. Faison's more than capable of bribing people and falsifying records. But what if... What if there's another possibility? What if Duke had been held captive in that Turkish prison and Faison had found him there and he questioned him and he got all this information out of him and maybe, I don't know, maybe he took a mold of his face and because that would explain why that mask is so perfect. Look, all he needs is good software and a decent lab and he can fabricate anyone's face. But let's call Interpol. No, let's call... You know, there's what something is... else. It's been bothering me. When Klaus brought Duke into this room. There was a look in his eyes. Something that had been missing. Duke 
When he came in here, he was struggling to tell me something. And he was fighting. He was trying to save me. And I recognized his eyes. They were dukes. Okay. I don't think you're right about this, but... I know where we can go and get some answers. You said so yourself. It's only a matter of time before your parents find you here. And when they do, they'll destroy everything Faison on stroke to accomplish. It's already been destroyed. That's why you have to think about this. And you have to save yourself. Yes. That's why I can't risk the authorities learning of your existence. I'm afraid the only solution is for you to die. No, killing me is not going to fix anything. And if you let me go, I'll tell my parents and I'll plead for leniency. Leniency? From Robert Scorpio? The man is ruthless to his enemies. A legend among the spies. No. He'll want Faison to pay, and he'll want me to pay as well. As for your mother, I never understood Faison's obsession. But I know she's dangerous. And I imagine she'd be merciless to a woman who had harmed her precious child. My parents pay their debts. If you save me, they will owe you. I'm afraid you are right after all, Robin. It's time to cut my losses. Please. You can't. I must decide what to do, and quickly they'll be coming here soon. You're not the only one I have to deal with. What? What do you mean? Who else are you holding here? Who? Who's here? Robin. Neither can be discovered here alive. What are you doing here again? We want the truth. So listen, Faison is in custody, so you don't need to deny it. I know he was posing You're looking for a patient, but he this... knew things that only Duke could know. So my question to you is, is Duke Lavery alive? I so think you've lost your grip on reality. No. You can say what you like, my dear, but you're in a lot of trouble unless you start. Come on. Forward. This is nonsense. I don't have to justify what is Fine. going on here. You know what? You want to play it like this? I'm going to go room by room. What's in here? No, don't try it. No. Oh, my God. Shoot Lavery alive. You've lost your grip on reality. Tell She's me. perfectly sane, Doctor. Tell but you're me. in this up to your neck, so stop oh, talking. Come on. Nonsense. I refuse to justify right. any of this. Listen. No, don't. No. no. Yeah. I'll be damned. Duke. Anna. Problems? Apologies for the delay. I ran into a bit of trouble. Maybe I was right. Maybe you actually do have a heart and are having second thoughts about killing me. It appeals to my sensitive side will get you nowhere. So you admit you have a sensitive side. No choice in the matter. You have to be eliminated before your parents find you. Oh, God, is it really you? Anna, you are so beautiful. Oh, God, is it really you? It's me. Uh, is it him? Anna, it's me. Anna. It's really me. I'm a little bit worse for wear, but it's me. Are you hurt? All right, no, I've never felt better in my life. You have no idea how much I've wanted to see you. Me too. I knew you would come. I knew this would happen. I knew it. My era. We could enjoy this reunion, but uh, we better get out of here. I'm sure Faisal's prepared for no, my potential right. escape. You don't have to worry about it. He's been neutralized. I don't know how to thank you, Robert. Well, you should thank Anna. She's the one that figured that there might be one more piece left in Faison's puzzle, and you could actually be alive. But oh. I, I hope you don't mind. Mind what? Ah, Robert, really? What? Just no. checking. I understand after what you've been through, you can do any tests that you like, but I think we should do them elsewhere. Let's not okay. do it. Hey, Faison is in custody. He can't hurt us. Yes, but he has people, though. He has people here. He has a woman here. If they would do anything for him, I think she's runs the place. She's Dr. a physician. Dr. Holbrook. 
Do my parents know I'm alive? Are they here? Word of advice? Don't spend time fretting over things you can't control. I have a life waiting for me in Port Charles. I have a husband and a daughter who love me. Ah! Please, I'm begging you. I know what you must think, Robin, but I'm not a robot. I understand the bond between mother and child. Well, then let me get back to my daughter. I can't. Why not? Based on left instructions, failure to comply could mean my own life. No, please. I'm sorry, Falsapine. I've caused you, Robin. Please. There won't be any more. Please, you can't do this. Please. I have no choice. Please, I'm begging you. Close your eyes and it will be like falling asleep. Please. As soon as I figured out who Faison was, what he wanted, I tried to stop him, but I, it was almost futile. He wanted you, Anna. He had me relive every minute of our lives and our entire history. And Well, the hard part was, as I did that, all he wanted to be with you made me miss you and miss us. And it made it harder because the psychopath wanted to be with you. In the end, that ended up to be your best weapon. Because it was those little inconsistencies you put in the stories that... I mean, that's what triggered everything. It was brilliant. No, <laughs> you were brilliant. I put little coded messages in there just for you, in amongst the truth, and you picked up on them. I thought there was something wrong. I couldn't... You know... But actually, to give him his due, it was Robert that figured it out. Oh, then I'm grateful to Robert. I wish I'd realized sooner. I just... I thought you had realized sooner. Why do you say that? Well, a couple of weeks ago, Faison came here. He was furious. I thought he was going to kill me. He said I had ruined his plan. He said one of the memories that I'd given him was false and somebody picked up on it. I thought he was talking about you, and he said, no, he wasn't. He was talking about somebody else. Ah! Soon ah! this will all be over. Ah! 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 Robin? Faison actually said someone else nearly ruined his plan? Who? Well, that's all I got out of him at the time. Anna, it's been a while, but I know that look. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. Tell me, what are you thinking? Well, I don't know who else other than me knows you well enough to be able to get in Faison's way. What? What is it? No, it's not possible. Anna, uh, nothing is impossible. Look at you and I here in this room. Anything is possible. Who are you thinking about? It just doesn't make sense, that's all. Who? Robin. Robin! You're alive! Step away from the yep. daughter! Oh, baby, you hurt? You all right? I need to find me. I'm Let's okay. Get out of this. Now, how tough do you feel, Dr. Obrey? Let me introduce you to my father, Robert Scorpio. I doubt that that's a vitamin shot, so leave it there, all right? As you wish. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of Robin. She was always a bright girl. She'd see straight through things. That's not what I mean. What do you mean? She passed away, Duke. No. Oh. My body, little lass. Well, I'm so sorry. I mean, that's, that's what we were led to believe. I don't understand. There was an explosion at the hospital where she worked. And so she did become a doctor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a really, really good doctor. She was great. But, um... We were told that her body had burned, you know, and we couldn't really see it, and so we buried her and tried to get on with our lives, which is impossible. It's just 
So then there's this unhinged woman who doesn't really care for me very well. And she told me that she'd seen Robin in this institution in Port Charles. Why would you want to do that? Because she was playing with my mind. So she was lying to you? Yeah. Well, I'm not so sure because it took me on this trail, which led me right here. To Switzerland? Here. To this clinic, to a padded cell, right here. You've been here before? Yeah. But you didn't find Robin? No, it was just a young woman that looked like her. I thought the whole thing was a mind game. But the fact that it led me here, to this place, to this clinic, which is Faison's base. That's not a coincidence. Right? Right, I'm not crazy, am I? I mean, think about it. If he wanted me, maybe he wanted Robin, and he was going to get an instant family. And so Robin could be here. Maybe he brought her here. Maybe she's here, and maybe she's alive. I mean, you said anything is possible. Anything's possible, Anna. Robin's alive, and she's here. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it together. Dad! Dad, be careful! Dad! Let go! Dad! 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 Dad, can you hear me? Sorry, Robin. What was in the syringe? What's in it? Not the outcome you anticipated. Let me go. Let me go. He's my dad. I can't just sit here and It's too late, Robin. There's nothing more you can do. Dad! Dad, look at me! All that's left is to deal with you. Dad! Daddy! Daddy! Oh, my God. Robert, 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 stay with me. Stay with me, honey. Robert, you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, God. Who did this to you? Who did this to you? You're alive! Step away from the door! Oh, wait. You heard it? What? 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 What, what is it? Find her. Find her? What? What? Find her. Find her. Find her. Find her. You gotta find her. Okay, Robert, stay with us, okay? Robert's not gonna get away with this. She injected you with something, okay? She... Right? Save your strength. You need to find someone to help. Try to keep conscious. I'll find okay. someone hopefully we can trust. Oh, she, she had. Yes. She had her. What? It's okay, Robert. I know. Obert injected you. You're fine. You're gonna be okay. Just stay with me, all right? Anna. Anna. Yes. She has. She has. Robert! What? Can we trust him? Okay, we found him on the ground. He's coming conscious. He's been injected with something. Where's that thing? We found this in his <sighs> chest. This is Dr. Robert's swing. I, no, no, I, I no, need no. to page her. No, we don't. No, no. She's the one who did this to him. You have to save him. No, I, I'm sorry. Without knowing what she gave him, I, Here, I cannot help. help. What is that? Propofil. It's propofil? That's a sedative, isn't it? Isn't that lethal in large doses? Isn't it lethal? I, I'm, I'm sorry. If, if she gave him the entire vial, I, I, I cannot help. You don't know this man. You don't know what he survived. He's strong. You know, you have to save him. Perhaps there's something I can try. Okay, good. Thank you. Robert? Can you hear me? Listen. You've got to live, all right? Because giving up and dying is not an option. 
I'm gonna be here. You're gonna be here too. I'm not gonna do this alone. Stubborn to die. He'll come through this like everything else with flying colors. I hope so. He was trying to say something. You know, before he lost consciousness, he was like really fighting to say something. I know it was important. Robert, what were you trying to tell me? What's going on? Shh. What am I doing here? Wait. I'm so sorry to disturb you, but with Faison captured, I was unsure how to proceed. Under the circumstances, I thought it best to bring her to you. Well, you did the right thing. I believe you know the way out, Doctor. Who are you? After all this trouble, you wind up with good old me. What did we used to call you again? Uh, fun one? Bobby? No, no, it's kind of too boring. Didn't we have a nickname for you? Can't remember. Hmm. Oh, well. There are more interesting questions to ponder. Like, what the devil am I going to do with you?